Achievement Hunters brought to you by ExpressVPN. Get your, oh, well, where'd you go? Cooper. Get yourself a VPN today at expressvpn.com slash achievement. the clusterfuck that is rooster teeth this is fuck face break shit sorry fuck face break shit I with think it's me more effective when you don't say the word you got to be like face so i go face is this even mic'd face oh face. that's super loud you can hear that andrew can you hear that andrew oh it's so uh, loud andrew so the telly it's hilarious Damn. we're starting 15 minutes late for you guys uh i we didn't start 15 minutes late. We did a good little portion of show early. I felt really good about. We were actually going at four. Yeah, we but started at four. Uh, we were feeling pretty great. Luckily, we didn't open any fucking cards. That would have been hard, hard to put the toothpaste back in that tube. Uh, was, but for, uh, uh, for some reason, uh, I... Double programming. Yeah, I guess we don't rate as high as other productions here at Rooster Teeth. So... Uh, also, most of, most of our staff showed up. Appreciate that. With me, uh, as always, uh, always being, since this is the first fucking time we've done it, uh, Gavin Free, hey who is going to be uh, filling in as, he's our hype man. Yeah. In the break shit. <laughs> That's excellent. Thank you very much. I am Jeff Ramsey, and... This is Andrew Patton in some capacity. It uh, yeah, it's me. Well, well, Jeff, you wouldn't let me sell the hats for a profit, so I figured if I'm going to have space on this show, yeah. I need to advertise. So here, here's my idea for why, why this is Andrew. Andrew's in Canada. He's on the island of Vancouver, right? We couldn't get him down here, uh, obviously. And plus, for Andrew to take a... Apparently, it would take him a week to get here from Canada, the way he travels. Mm -hmm. So Is this real? Is this real? <laughs> This one better be real. It's not real. It's real. It's real. Jesus Christ, man. Kill me. Uh, I thought it would be funny to have Andrew pipped in on the screen, and we would do, uh, like, a picture of Don Zimmer, and then, like, the yeah. old Conan skit, you have the, the lips talk, and they'd be Andrew's lips. Was that too expensive? No. Andrew said he wanted to do this instead. Oh. He said he had some ideas, and that he would handle it. So I don't know what that means. It means he's a yeah. talking billboard. It means, yeah, I think he's he's just going to co-op the show to you try to sell it. You can really it. buy this at gmail.com. Yeah, it's real. We're getting emails already. I'm getting offers. It's great. We already have three. Oh, you got an email? Yeah, I've got three of them. Oh, my you God. Know? Okay, uh, also with us is a super fan, Jack Patillo. <laughs> That's a pretty nice snazzy shirt you've got there, Jack. Somebody somebody must have handmade that for you. Somebody probably spent most of yesterday at Hobby Lobby <laughs> buying all the supplies to make that shirt for you just so that you'd feel welcome in the fuck face family. <laughs> well, you know, be, wash it on delicate, buddies. I don't, I don't want those letters to fall off. Ay, ay, ay. So what we're doing today, I guess I should I should go into it, is uh, we are going to open up some cards. I had a whole long soliloquy I was going to go into, yeah. like a Jeff talk, as they say, kind of explaining how the history of me uh, collecting things is really kind of the genesis of how Achievement Hunter started and how I see a very similar thing going on in the collectible industry that I did with Achievement Hunter at the same time. There's a lot of parity between those, and I'm really excited about jumping into this in much the same way we did with video games. But we started 112 minutes late, so yeah. I'm going to cut that, and we're just going to get right into it, and we'll talk while we open up cards. I just realized you, you've been given the second chance to start a new thing and not call it Achievement Hunter. Like, yeah. Have it a better name. Instead, I call it Fuck <laughs> Face. Yeah. <laughs> My biggest regret in this in the history of this company was, was naming a company Rooster Teeth yeah. or participating in the naming of the... My second biggest would be naming Achievement Hunter Achievement Hunter. So we'll see if my third biggest is naming <laughs> Face Face. Anyway, uh... I want to start this off. We're not going to get to all this stuff, by the way. This is just shit that I've been collecting for the last year. Uh, and Andrew and I have a lot of bits and stuff worked out. We haven't really talked about any of that with you because you don't give a shit about card collecting and stuff. Well, maybe this uh, is my introduction to giving a shit. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach you to give a <laughs> shit, right? So there's... Uh, and obviously, we're not going to be able to, to do it all, but uh, hopefully, we'll get to continue to do this. And there's a lot of bits that will that we want to do, and things that we want to make that will involve you, the audience, as well, uh, so that you can hopefully participate in. Uh, but to kick it off, I have with us 1991 
I believe, Topps Baseball. Do you know why these are special, Gavin? Uh, because they are very old. Well, they are old, and they are uh, from Unopened. what's called the junk wax era, so they're <clears throat> next to worthless. Okay. <laughs> to the traditional baseball card fan, but to us, we have different priorities. We care about Don Zimmer. And is Don Zimmer, was that his... Was it his it's era? The golden era of Don what I want to do, baseball cards. Because I've irresponsibly Manager. been given this soundboard. I want to find a sound to play every time there's a Zimmer. I think that's a great idea. And I idea. think it should be some sort of boing. I can see several boings. <laughs> Does that sound appropriate? You'll, you'll... What's, what's more Zimmer, this or this? No, not that. This is reverential. You want something like an explosion or a, like a ooga. Oh, that might or, be on page uh, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that Let me hear that again. That lies is falling. <laughs> That's a pretty good one-two combo right there. Is that? Are, are you mixing sounds together? Well, I mix the laser beam with the pop. <laughs> with a pop and a yeah. So you do your audio engineering. You're off to the races there. That's great. Uh, we'll start opening up these cards. However, before we do that, I want to introduce a friend of mine uh, that I have been working with for a long time. His or her name is The Pack Sack. Now, what we have here is something that I've been working on for a very, very long time. You see, I, when Did I made... Did you iron all that on as well? When I, did, when I made Jack's You're going shirt, shit with an iron. I made the pack sack, <laughs> and it's supposed to represent everything that we're doing here. Now, you might point out uh, why, Jeff, it says sack pack. It does, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's the pack sack. I got it wrong. Uh, and once these guys are ironed on, they're there. And I was not about to go back to Hobby Lobby, but you can uh, see it represents all of our interests, all the fun things. Uh, for instance, there's a baseball, and then there's a... Uh, there's a Basketball. I'm a big fan of basketball. Yeah. There's a Disney. I put this on for, for Jack because it's <laughs> Disney, but then you know, Jack can show. There's some eyeballs because they're like, what's inside? Let's look. Andrew, I want to know. You it's have, exciting. Can and you then, see the feed, the program feed? Can you see how shit this thing looks? And then a unicorn. Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're looking for it, we're looking for some holy grails. Right? It's not hard to impress. I don't know. Where do you get a sack? Where I, do you even buy it? Like if I was assigned to do that job, I don't know where you'd even buy the bag. It's funny you ask, Andrew, and I'll show you. I bought a sack online. And I had a whole plan for it, and then it came in, and it was so dinky and crappy, and it oh. had a little bicycle on it. I thought I could make, yeah. like, I thought I could do a thing where I put some, like, Slim Jims sticking off of it. Like, I had <laughs> made uh, meat bracelets and stuff, but it's just so dinky, I decided to make my own from scratch. So, uh, Hobby Lobby, or Michael's, or yeah. Joanne's Fabrics, you know all the craft stores. Uh, mm -hmm. Inside this pack sack, <laughs> this is, this is like the other character of, of <laughs> break shit. Yeah. Face. Have, Face, you, break shit. have you described the act of breaking shit? Breaking stuff is, uh, I'll get into it as we go. Okay. Uh, but first off, what is in here is a world of mystery. For the last year, I have been going uh, nuts collecting weird, rare, odd packs of cards. And as I collect them, I throw them in the pack sack, right? <laughs> Who knows what's in this pack sack? But the way I think uh, we should approach it is anytime we open a box of cards and we start opening them, yeah. We'll take one bot, one pack, and we'll donate it to the pack sack. Okay. And then I'll let you do it. Take a random one out. Get it, get good in there. And we'll replace it. And maybe the pack Ooh, sack will the grant us. <laughs> maybe the pack sack will grant us a rare. John Goodman? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a pack of Flintstones movies cards. I remember I bought these in uh, I believe I bought these in Detroit, actually, at an antique mall. So, so what, are they all the same level of worthless? Or is it varying levels here? Well, it depends. These, I think I paid 30 bucks for this box. Obviously, I paid 50 cents, still on the pack for this Flintstones. Yep. <laughs> uh, some of these were like 10 bucks. Uh, I have here, right here, uh, ABC's All My all Children, my children. Uh, Soaps of ABC. That was, I think, $10 at okay. a, uh, like an antique store. But this box, which will open up last, this is 2014, 2015 NBA Hoops. That is that cost me about 480 bucks, so anywhere between like 10 bucks to like 500 bucks is what some of these things are. So what are you going to be hoping to see in your first pack? So in the first know? pack we're looking for, we're hoping, and this is what's <clears throat> called breaking. If you uh, if you are into cards at all, oh Millie Ramsey's texting me. Make sure my daughter's okay. Uh, the audio oh, is uh, mega what? delayed and it keeps going back to the <laughs> hang your butts thing. I don't know what that means. I said, Dad, I'm so 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 sorry. Let me do some padding. <laughs> Excellent. 
<laughs> so let's open up the very first pack of cards. So anyway, for the last year or so, I've been I've fallen back in love with baseball cards. Yeah. And the problem with collecting <clears throat> cards is that it's so popular. People are looking at it like there's people like Gary V out there that are that are using this as a alternative forms of investment, kind of like crypto and uh, and NFTs. And so it's become so hot and so popular, you just can't go to a store and buy baseball cards anymore. You have to get them online, and so uh, you have to get them on eBay. They're very expensive, and so what most people do is they just watch people open up packs on eBay, or on YouTube, rather, or they buy into a, a break on Because you were saying eBay. that when they are in stores, there's always a line out the door, right? Yeah, every Friday, there's a line outside of uh, Target that starts about 7 a.m. It's just that's... impossible. What was that? <laughs> like a w <laughs> some sort of window sound. I don't know what that wasn't that me, though. I don't think I have windows on here. Well, it sounds like this is going pretty bad. This is definitely the <laughs> fuck face prank on the fans, right? Cool. <laughs> Did Andrew break this to... Okay. Is Andrew gone? Did we lose Andrew? <laughs> Did we lose us? Can we get a camera on the cards? Okay, let's go through a fucking pack. And let's see what happens. Darren Lewis, Candy Maldonado. Now, what we're looking for here, Gavin, uh, aside from, like, you know, hot rookies like Larry Walker of the Montreal Expos, who no longer exist. Yeah. Uh, we're looking for our man Don Zimmer. <clears throat> and ideally, we're looking for Pedro Martinez, the guy he famously got into the fight with. Because the guy who pushed the hat in his eyes. As I mentioned it last week, oh, shit, we got a manager card, and it wasn't Zimmer. Is there only one manager card? We got <laughs> Tom Treblehorn. <laughs> Manager for the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, oh, is that Andrew back? Is that Andrew? Can you hear me? Where were you? The whole time. I've been mean? here. Nobody was I've been able talking. to talking. You. So okay. what, did you hear us say where are you? Uh, yeah, I was talking the entire time. There was no response. <laughs> so I just figured you couldn't hear me. No, there no. are 792 cards uh, in this set for the 91 uh, tops. It'll be hard to get a Zimmer. I don't know how many packs. So we have a, a one in how many? 790. 792, I believe. So we might go this whole thing, this whole broken ass thing, and not even see a single Zimmer? Chances are. Possible. I mean, the odds are that the Zimmer pack is what we just put in the sack pack. Well, maybe a Zim Zimmer is comical sounds. <whistles> nah. Not found it yet. I don't see, I haven't seen a, a Zimmer yet, but I did find a Cecil Fielder whose son actually, Prince, he's dead now. He, he was a very good baseball player. His son, Prince Fielder, played. I think he might be retired, too. Cecil Fielder, uh, I remember having, uh, being famous having a real big butt. He had a, he had a meaty uh, butt. It was a real good home run hitter, too. But check out that check out the oh, yeah. ass on that guy. Because that's not a position that accentuates an ass, but you can still see his ass. Yeah, you can still see his ass. So we'll put that right there so the audience can see it. So is that one pack or two? Uh, we're two packs in, buddy. Okay. And so... It will continue to break. I'm going to assume that it's all working in the background, and I'm not going to have to fire anybody as soon as we end this. Oh, uh, we got Derek May. We got, oh, who? This is like going through my childhood. Howard Johnson, Andy Bennis, Anthony Telford. <gasps> oh, my God. I can't believe it. Are you ready for this? Oh. oh. Oh, shit, already! Yes. We've got a first hit! It's an honest to God 1991 top 40th anniversary Chicago Cubs Don Zimmer manager card. I can't believe it's real. We've got, we've got our first manager wow. hit. I'll fucking top load it. Dude, we should number our Zims. That's we Zim number, number one. This is Zim number one. Can we have some, uh, like numbered cards to put near it. Let's put that right there. I can't believe we were all just a witness to our, we may have been, it may not have been on. Yeah, but, some uh, of us were. That, <laughs> we'll maybe see in the chat if people saw the first Zim. <laughs> Gav, you want to try to open up a pack, see if you get Zimmy? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Do I have to open it over here? Yeah, go for it. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to treat it like, whoops. I'm going to treat it like when Charlie was opening that Wonka bar. <laughs> because if, if you open it slowly and do a slow reveal, it's probably going to be a golden ticket. How many cards are in a pack? Yeah. Feels like a lot. Uh, let's see. Okay. There are 15 picture cards and one stick of gum. I will save all the gum for you, Andrew. I figure you'll want to eat it later. Yeah, that's great. John Mitchell. They have a sheen on these. Oh, shit. There goes the Zimmer. That's all right. 
That's why we protect it. Who's that? Oh, that is another manager, dude. That's Roger Craig. He was the San Francisco Giants manager. He looks like a prick. <laughs> That's it. Look at the glove on that. <laughs> look at the glove so on what, do, what do you look at? When you open these, are you looking for funny shit, or are you just looking for the Zims, typically? It doesn't matter. Uh, I've, Cause I've, look at that one. Boring. Yeah, this guy, Darren Fletcher. A lot of them, you're just looking for anything interesting. Or this guy, he sucked his chin all the way in. There he did. There you go. I don't know that he had a chin. Uh, we were going to get a close-up there, but your head blocked it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Here's a, here's a Bobby, oh. <laughs> Bobby Cox manager. Here's a, here's a, here you go. Here. Where's his chin? Vincent Palacios? Probably left it in the dugout. <laughs> oh, another manager. Oh, look, Tommy Lasorda. Or Tony Lasorda, rather. He was the A's manager. Dude. I'm going to show you a card right now that is going to be... This is how I'm gonna explain it. I didn't pause right. him. And you're gonna you're gonna know what I'm talking about immediately. Okay. Drunk on the weekends, super, super authoritarian stepdad who you can't stand. Boom. I'd say that I, I would agree. He does not, does not look happy. Shane was like, yeah, we can get in all, all the way to the thumb. <laughs> <laughs> we can, eventually. <laughs> Luckily, we, have an, we still have 28 minutes left. Yeah, anyway. Well, well, I wonder what percentage of these people are alive. Do you think he's alive? Uh, yeah, he's probably alive. I wonder if Mike Lieberthal is alive. He was a number one draft pick. Look at this honking dork. No offense, Mike, if you're tougher than me and want to beat me up, but... Uh, he I, makes he makes Caleb Denicor look cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, he's so happy. He looks like uh, he looks like the kind of guy that uh, doesn't drink milk because it's spicy. Okay, Harold Baines, Francisco Cabrera. We have a 1990 record breaker of George Brett. Everybody loves George Brett. Do you think most of the, yeah? Let's see, Jose Mesa, Tom Hinkie. What do you think the chances are people are even watching this? Do you think? Do you yeah, think it's, yeah. It's broadcasting. How many, how many of these? Have you heard of usually when you open a pack? Well, it is it depends. like pretty low percentage? It depends, Gav. Because uh, I this is my childhood, so I know a lot of these people from oh, my yeah. childhood. Uh, <laughs> You're moving on to a I'm gonna move on to the Flintstones real fast. <laughs> we'll see if we can get. We'll see what the pack sack sent our way. I mean, I'm hoping straight up for a Fred. <laughs> Fred's a big pull. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> we have uh, a tearful fa farewell. Barney has revealed that he switched his <laughs> aptitude test with Fred's. But Fred and Wilma refuse to believe their friend, and a huge argument ensues. Sadly, Barney and Betty pack up their belongings and prepare to leave their friend's home. Jesus. This is not a flattering photo of John Goodman on the back. not a flattering photo of Goodman. On the back? Yeah, on the back of that card. So interesting thing about the Flintstones movie, I've never seen it. For instance, I, I didn't know that it starred Kyle MacLaughlin and Halle Berry. Oh! <gasps> Oh, yeah, and uh, Rick Moranis, John Goodman. Not only, Gavin, did we get a Fred for you, I think we got what may be considered a Fred hit. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this right now. <laughs> <go to it. laughs> I, don't want anything, I don't want anything bad happen to it. As a matter of fact, we got I just John Goodman in a sleeve. We got, can we get, can we get eventually a look? Can we get this? There we go. Twinkle toes. <laughs> Not only do we have Fred, we have Fred uh, caveman bowling. Look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Our second hit right there. Like Caveman Fred bowling his little ass off. I'll give it a there any, to Fred. Uh, are there any variant cards, Jeff? So, Flintstones maybe? You know, I don't know, Andrew. I would, would have asked Superfan Jack to look it up. Uh, let's see. Let's stick this out here. A lot of these cards are going to be uh, a little old for variants, what Andrew is talking about. Oh, we got <laughs> Faithful Fred. We have Lonely at the Top. Fred. Yeah, I've just I've realized it's that there's boy Fred. not a ton of people in this movie, so there's just different variants of Fred. Yeah, it's just a lot of Fred. <laughs> Dude, look at look at John Goodman's muscles in Wrong Way Flintstone. Can we get can we get a look at these muscles? Dude, John wow. Goodman is ripped. I didn't know John Goodman ever had a ripped face. Dude, he, I think this is the most jacked I've ever seen John Goodman. He's like John Favreau when he works out for a movie. <laughs> look at that. Is this is this before so uh, Goodman Big Lebowski or after? That would be hmm, before, you think? Andrew, can you research? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm looking into it right now. That's well, I'm amazed that we got a Zimmer so quickly. That was amazing. That's one of mine. I was yeah. hoping it'd be a slower build. Now we just got to pull. I mean, if we can get two Zimmers in one. So one of the shit. one of the things that we want to do, and I'm, I mentioned this briefly uh, in the fuckface <laughs> face podcast. I'm gonna get good at this. Marquise Grissom, he looks angry. Uh, Larry Anderson, Larry Sheets, a lot of Larrys in baseball. Do you think they're all Lawrences, shortened to Larry, or you got any just pure If you Larry? were named Lawrence, what, let, me, let me ask you a question. What's better, Lawrence or Larry? Larry. Yeah, my dad's name was Larry. Larry Larry or Lawrence Larry? He was short for Larold. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Larry. His name was just Larry. Uh, yeah, sometimes you meet someone who is called Joe. It's like Joseph, probably. No, nope. just Joe sometimes. Just Joe. Okay, I'm going to show you two right now. Two cards that I think are, are worth looking at. First off is Dennis Eckersley, who's a relief pitcher for the uh, Oakland A's. Uh, just tremendously talented dude. Very derpy oh, yeah. photo. You get right up and close. It looks like his eyes are closed, and he, it looks like he just ate a lemon, and he's pursed <laughs> his lips. <laughs> he looks like... <laughs> we'll oh, put... who's, that? who's that guy on Twitch? Uh, looks exactly like that. The guy on Twitch. That guy. I don't... The guy on, oh, he's Dr. Disrespect. Dr. Disrespect. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go for, uh, currently for best slash worst name so far today, Bobby Thigpen. Thigpen? I'm Bobby, sure his you... childhood was a breeze. I think we should place Thigpen in the top slot for worst name so far. All right, Thigpen's worst name so far. And Maybe Dennis can... Eckersley is derpiest. Fred is best guns. And uh, Mike Lieberthal will be most like Caleb Denicor. Okay, and, we, and they can be overtaken by new people who we discuss. Yeah, it's part of the game, right? This is part of the fun of collectibles is you make your own games as you go. It's part of what uh, I like about what we're doing is it's just similar to how when we started Achievement Hunter, people didn't realize it, but you, you want to watch someone play a video game for a myriad of reasons, right? Not the least of which is if you're like a 15, 16, 17-year-old dude or lady, and you are on a fixed income, you probably can't buy every video game that comes out. So you have to make sure Fallout 3 is really good before you buy it. So you watch people do Let's Plays. I, I, I kind of feel like there's a similar, similar vein here. It's just was, not was, possible to get these cards. I was thinking cards. that the other day. I would just play so many demo discs. Yeah. I, remember, I remember Abe's Odyssey being one of my favorite games. So Abe's when, Odyssey. And when the sequel came out, I was like, well, I can't afford it, but I hope it's good. And I never, I've never seen anyone play it. But like, if you could watch people play it back then, I would have watched the shit out of someone play yeah. Abe's Exodus. And it's the same, same reason. Like, I, I, I went through a period where I would get up and I would go about four times a week to every Walmart and Target in town just to try to get cards. And eventually I gave up. And I just started watching people open packs on YouTube. And weirdly, like, even my girlfriend watches it. She didn't give a fuck about cards. Oh, I might have another Caleb Denicor here. Uh, Ozzy yeah. Smith, best baseball player to do a backflip in history. It was kind of his thing. Uh, and so, oh, another Bobby Thigpen. We'll load up on those guys. So I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is cool, too. Uh, oh, that's a Greg Maddox card. That's a <clears throat> nice card. Uh, so... I've started to watch like two or three hours a night. I just watch people open up cards and so my girlfriend they, will sit there. How long do they do it for? They, well, so typically the way it's done now, because uh, I, I feel like the, the reemergence of this uh, fandom is sort of uh, in its infancy in terms of people using it for entertainment. Uh, the way it works now is typically somebody will, will just say, like, I'm going to open up eight boxes of NBA hoops. And you buy in, like, I'll pay 20 bucks to get all the Celtics cards. And then you just watch them. They're very factual and informational, and uh, they're pretty efficient because you don't, you're not, you're just trying to see what the next card is. And so I'd say probably 30 minutes, 45 minutes, depending on how, how it goes. Uh, but I would like to do that and make it entertaining. Uh, in some way. I just have to figure out how to be entertaining first. <laughs> Here's, uh, I'm going to put this up there with, uh, with the other dude, Kurt Miller, for most C Caleb Denicor. That's the same guy, though, right? No, it's different. That's, they're, that they're was two Mike different Lieberthal. Guys? This is Kurt Miller. Okay, put them side by side. Yeah. That's, that's mental that they're two different people. Yeah. They're, like, separated at birth, they, right? They look identical. Wait, what's he, Kurt Miller? Is that his name? Uh, it's Mike Lieberthal and Kurt Miller. Yeah. Okay. So far, everybody's alive. So far, everybody's alive. My, well, good for them. Yes. Yep. I would yes. like to nominate this card of Gerald Perry from the Royals for uh, most relaxed, most chill. Oh, yeah. He's just like 
laying out, having a good time. So are they mostly action shots, or do some people take custom pictures? Because well, I feel like the managers... Well, I guess that manager was from a game. The man managers don't have a lot of action. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. unless you're Don Zimmer. Unless you're Don Zimmer. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a, a bit of both. Do right? they come with gum? Yeah, would you like some? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I recommend it. Do not... Do not chew the gum gum. Is it meant to be, it like, is a mistake? snappable? It's fine. Greg Jeffries, when I was a kid, Greg Jeffries was... You've got to eat a piece of 90s gum. I will. <laughs> Here. <laughs> you did, have, did you have some? Here. Cheers, me. I'm, I'm just going to... Somebody who has done this, Here you go. it yeah. is not going to go Cheers. as you expect. Cheers. It's going to immediately <laughs> turn to, like, dust. There's no chewing it. It just breaks apart. Dug it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Why would you do it on the cards? <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> That's all like... <laughs> <laughs> I warned you! <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> it's terrible! <laughs> oh, damn. Let me, hit, I... me with a, hit me with a sound for that. At your house, Canada. <laughs> yeah, you... there you go. Oh, so great. I'm glad I'm not there. Yeah, that gum is terrible. Oh, we, uh, it's a shame we're doing this today, actually, because not only did Jack um, not show up, but Andrew and I are in a heated argument right now. Oh, right. We've been fighting all day about <laughs> something we can't mention until the face from two weeks from now comes out. You know what's funny? Because it started yesterday. We covered all this the first time we did the show today. It's true. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to mention that because we, we did it in the intro that wasn't on. <laughs> Our God. best intro we've ever done as a show, <laughs> and it wasn't live. All right, well, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna open a couple more of these packs, looking for Zimmers and uh, Pedro Martinez. The reason we're looking for Pedro Martinez, you've heard us talk about him a lot, and you may have heard me mention the Don Pedro project, something that we want to do. I want to take <laughs> thousands of pictures, thousands of cards of Don Zimmer. What are you laughing at? Oh, <laughs> dust gum. I want to take thousands of pictures of Don Zimmer, baseball cards of Don Zimmer, and thousands of baseball cards of Pedro Martinez. And I found a way to make a giant mural, right, mosaic yeah. of their famous fight, their iconic fight, one of the best moments in the history of professional sports, right, but built out of their own baseball cards. And I think I'm going to need about 4,000. Okay, so your resolution for this image is high. Yeah. And each, each Zimmer is a pixel. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Each Zimmer or Pedro Martinez is a pixel. Now, I kind of fucked up in that I... Uh, God, we're going to need so many. I kind of fucked up in that I made Don... Or we made Don Zimmer a... a yeah, it would have been good to we, buy your... Yeah, we, we essentially made him a currency. <laughs> and so now he has did. value. Uh, so there will be less uh, Zimmers in there than Pedro Martinez is. Uh, Eric Plunk. Oh, he I don't should, know what to say about this one. Plunk should probably be up there next to um, Thugpen. Was it Thigpen? Thigpen? <laughs> Plunk and Thigpen. Well, we'll yeah. have a little, um, maybe we'll have a vote off in the chat at the end for which is the most ridiculous name. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open up three more of these and then we'll move on to another box. All right. I was looking into 91 Tops, Jeff. Yes, sir. And before, before we started the Zimmer market, the, the second high, like the number one card for an absurd amount of money, uh, the, the top, like the second most valuable card, only worth $35 with a graded PSA 10. What is So our Zimmer push, uh, it was Chipper Jones. Oh, yeah. Our Zimmer push, we have certainly pushed Zimmers over $35. We have made Don Zimmer the second most valuable card in this set. Yeah, really unfortunate timing on wanting to make that collage. Yeah, I wish I'd had the idea before yeah. the other idea. All right, let me switch these around. Let's see. This is how they do it. They go Rex Hodler. Bernard Gilkey, Alan Trammell, Alan Trammell, Jim Gantner, Kurt Young, back to back Davis, Renee Gonzalez, <laughs> Kevin Apier, Chuck Finley, David Cohn, Dennis Rasmussen, Vaughn Hayes, uh, Tom Bernanski, like that. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it gets <clears throat> old. But if you do it like this, uh, Jim Leland, that's a <laughs> fucking manager card. We got to pull that. Is that Tom so, Selleck? Who is that? That is Jeff Russell, who is currently in the lead for most biggest Tom Selleck look alike. Okay, yeah. All right. That should be These are all going to be official I don't maybe, know, designators. Maybe going with the, the silly names, we'll find a pair and then we'll create like a law firm name with the both ridiculous names. We're going to create sports law firm. Because Plunk and uh, 
Thig Pen. What was the was that? Plunk Thig Pen <laughs> and Blank Associates. We just need to find the blank. I like the way you think. Yeah. That's a great idea. Bobby Valentine. I was uh I was actually looking at maybe at some point if we can find enough. Because you know, you get like you get like there's a great picture of Fernando Valenzuela uh looking super athletic in this photo. Uh I'm not exactly sure what that position mm. he's in is. But uh it would be fun if you could get enough different players to you kind of do a flip book where you could get somebody like batting or like <clears throat> running yeah, around them. But they're changing outfits between each frame. Yeah, but they're changing <laughs> outfits between each frame. All right, so we're going to go through the last of these. Rich Garces, uh, Mike Sims, Dave Ooh. Martinez, Mike Marshall, B Burt Blylevin, Chris Sabo, and Frank Viola. I think we should also be looking out for someone who has a mustache and then in, a, in another picture doesn't have one. And then we'll find multiples of those so we can flip their facial hair on and off really fast. I like that idea. I like that idea. I, I discovered <clears throat> anecdotally just uh, from my work on the, the Don Pedro project, as we're calling it, these are all of the Pedro Martinez cards that I've been collecting. These are all different. So they're like this is like a, about 104 different Pedro Martinez cards. Shit. What I'll do is I'll have to scan each one in, and then I can use the program to figure out where it fits in the mosaic and how many we'll need. Uh, the reason I brought that Should we up get up is... the picture that we're trying to replicate? Like, yeah. so we know what colors we need and stuff? Yeah, can we do that? Yeah. Can we show, Andrew, can you do that on your? <laughs> Andrew, can you replace no, your mobile? <laughs> uh, but anyway, the, the point being, you were talking about Pedro Martinez, or you were talking about uh, watching somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I did have that planned. This is the, the second, we can't all be billboard. Yeah, and you got the, the bear right there. Three bears. Look at Don Sim. He looks like an undefeated man. He does. You saw that man and say he has never lost a fight. You can see between early twinky little skinny Pedro Martinez and soon to retire Pedro, Pedro Martinez, uh, you can watch the man do get you, older and fatter. Do you think that young Martinez would have uh, shoved Zimmer's hat in his eyes? Or do you think he, he had to work up to that through his career? I think you have to, I think by the time that Pedro Martinez took on Don Zimmer, he had built up some bulk and some yeah, experience and, he had the and confidence. some cachet. Yeah, he had the confidence. I don't think you're born with that. Uh, all right, Andrew, what are we supposed to open up next? We're going to go from baseball to something else. Was it? Uh, we could go through the Battlefield Earth really quickly. I mean, I, I <laughs> God. we've got a lot of different options. Really, the only get in Battlefield Earth is there's an auto card for either Forrest Whitaker, John Travolta, Gary Pepper. Are we going to get Twinkle, Twinkle Toast Travolta? Uh, I'm not sure if we'll get Twinkle. What is Twinkle Toes, Travolta? What era of Travolta are we talking for Twinkle Toes? I don't know what Twinkle Toes, Travolta is. Well, that was the, what was the Fred one that was when he was born? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, yeah. I haven't we'll get seen Battlefield Earth, but I'm not sure if there's no, an old we'll get, we'll get sort I'm of pretty sure there's on a Travolta. All right, so we're looking for the chase cards in this. I can't believe I fucking bought these just to get a Forrest Whitaker <laughs> autograph or a it's, Travolta I, autograph. The, right. uh, yeah, there's also Barry Pepper. Uh, there's some CD oh. cards in that set. I don't think any of us have seen this movie. Oh, uh, I read the book. The only thing I know about this movie is that like 95% of the shots are on like a Dutch angle. The, the whole movie is completely on the piss. How do you know that? I've watched the trailer. Oh, I see. Have you seen the trailer? Probably. <laughs> it's like every shot is like... <laughs> All right, so looking for an <laughs> autograph, looking for the that rare Travolta Forrest Whitaker autograph. Kind Andrew, of. can can yes. you can you? We're into a movie trivia at the moment, like IMD trivia, uh -huh. IMDb trivia. Uh Is there anything in the IMD tri <laughs> IMDb trivia page about how all of Battlefield Earth is shot on the piss? I will look into that right now. Yeah, um, thanks, man. These cards Welcome. Are stuck the fuck together. You smell like shit too, right? Or, or was that, that just the... my? <laughs> you got some me see, me see. Yeah, they, they don't smell yeah. good. Let's That's have a the for that. dude. Yeah, no, is that the dude that was in uh, Saving Private Ryan? The sniper dude. Oh yeah. Uh, yes, it was. That is Barry Pepper. You can get an auto for him. Oh, that's uh, Barry fun Pepper. Fact, dude, behind very me. first trivia item. Okay. You look at Battlefield Earth. Forrest Whitaker expressed his regret for participating. <laughs> <laughs> Open with, I don't want to be part of this. And that's something that I think is so fun is getting actor auto cards for movies that are terrible. That they, they don't want to be in. They don't want to be reminded of. Yeah, exactly. You know what they smell like? They smell like... Um, a, Dianetics. A grandparent who smoked and left these down the back of an armchair. Well, I did get them off eBay, so it's possible that's what they are. Dude. <laughs> He's just straight up a Klingon, John Travolta. 
Eric, uh, to answer your question, Gavin, Eric just sent me uh, some trivia. The film cinematographer has gone on record as saying that he overused the overuse of color filters and Dutch angles wasn't his idea. He was given the smallest lighting budget he's ever had to work with. Almost every shot in the film is a Dutch angle because according to Roger Christian, he wanted the film to look like a comic book. Is it uh, supposed to be comic book inspired? Guys, we got something. It's a bad choice. Oh. What do we get? Well, let's see. There's something weird in here. We got a Barry Pepper uh, kissing a lady, or about to kiss a lady, threatening to kiss a lady. We've got a prison scene. We've got uh, Klingons, at, this movie now. Klingons at the mall or something. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> uh, looks like more... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, oh, this is oh, the. Oh, someone died. This is that scene from uh, oh. the the last scene of Platoon. <laughs> okay. uh, weird. Or Shawshank. We oh shit, we got a dude. Is that a CD? Or Battlefield something? Earth Power Deck. I forgot about these things. What do you yeah, put in that? What did. do you put that in? These are like the original NFTs. <laughs> it's got like a little clip or something on it. It's like a little disc. You can watch it. But is that like you put that in a player of some sort? Yeah. It's yeah, CD, man. It's a CD. It's a, it's a CD fun. without edges. Dude, that thing cost like I don't even know how much I had to buy. This stupid Battlefield <laughs> Earth box cost like a hundred dollars. So. Power deck. You better enjoy that power deck. Well, I need to buy a player, don't I? I've heard of those. I've never actually seen one. That's Place cool. power deck card in your CD-ROM drive to begin. Minimum, <laughs> minimum system requirements: Pentium processor, 133 megahertz, 12 megabytes of RAM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need QuickTime three. <laughs> <laughs> We've got, we, have, we must have a disk drive here, right? Somewhere? Can we put this in? I'm sure we can. <laughs> oh, God, concept art between, behind the scenes. What's going to be the resolution of this? Oh, uh, I think it's probably uh, 4K. We'll keep searching for those. I hope that that doesn't count as like the relic or autograph card in this box. Typically, there's only one or two per box. I believe you can get multiple power discs per box, and there are no rules as far as auto insertion. I want to show these off better as I open them, but they're fucking stuck together. I don't think anyone's wanted to show off Battlefield Earth. So we got a Twinkle Toes hit, we got a Don Zimmer, we got a Power whatever. Uh, we got a uh, Thuckin' Thick Boy, what was the other one? What that is? <laughs> thick Ben. Thick Ben, we got, yeah, we got all those. We got, uh, this lovely district manager Zeet, Michael McRae, uh, that's a nightmare. Yeah? Yeah. 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 That's, a, that's a dude I would not want to meet. Hey, myself. it's Eric. Sorry, real quick. Do hey. these cards feel different? They look so different from the baseball cards. They, Are they, like, thicker? They're, like, they're, sticky. They're sticky and th they're, like, shinier. <clears throat> yeah. They're There's sticky a, and shiny? a shitload of berry pepper. Yeah, they feel totally different. Uh, and they're fucking hard to open, too. Oh, you got grease as well? You got more Travolta? Well, that was a secret, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was going to be how we were going to end it. I'll tell you that story later. <laughs> That's why it wasn't out there for everybody to see it. Okay. Can't they see it from the oh, I guess not. <laughs> All right, we'll open up a few more and then we'll move on. I realize our, our hour is going very quickly and we had a bunch of stuff we wanted to open, so I'll... Uh, hour in quotes. As time as you want. I give you unlimited... I deem oh. you unlimited time forever. We've been given unlimited time forever, so maybe we'll go a little long. Uh, okay, as we are... What was the name of that sh uh, shitty, annoying purple monkey thing on computers? You know what I'm talking about? Oh! In the 90s? Yeah! Yes. Shitty? Was that not just a virus? Yeah, it was a virus, I think. It was like a bunch of malware. Yeah, I made I made my parents download that as what a was, child. What was its name? Oh. What, was, what was the... Because I bet it's on this. <laughs> I bet he's on there. Shitty purple... Def... Yeah, the, sh the little monkey assistant guy. You mean hey, the paperclip? Uh, not the paperclip. Called... I'm it not writing a letter. Buddy. Hey, it's Eric. This It was called Bonsai Buddy. Bonsai Buddy is exactly what I'm thinking of. Bonsai? I remember being a child pitching all day to my parents to download Bonsai Buddy. What is and, Bonsai uh, Buddy? Isn't that malware? Yeah. <laughs> it was. All right, we need to put... Andrew, help us out. Yes. Show us Bonsai Buddy. I, I can't... I have no control over the billboard, <laughs> Gavin. You don't even control your own billboard. No. I have no control over it. It's very cute. I mean, he's purple. Spinning the world on his finger. He's got a banana. I bet what, when you see him, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I wonder how many people associated with Battlefield Earth 
uh, brag about it. Zero. Well, well we know Forrest Whitaker's not bragging. It's true. I wonder what Forrest Whitaker's up to right now. What if he's watching? What do you think his most... <laughs> Did you hear that? I think that's the power deck disc. <laughs> it's playing! <laughs> look at it! Oh, look how small it is. Oh, it's tiny. Can we see it? Oh, it's on a... <laughs> Shall I take it? <laughs> I got... <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it interactive? Oh. What is it? Is it like a scene from the movie? There it is! It's like an animated GIF-sized movie clip. <laughs> That's amazing. Maybe we'll see some Dutch angles. Hey, Eric, can you just show... Wait, hang on! Right. Hang on! We can't just show scenes from a movie! <laughs> we just we didn't. did, Eric! We didn't. I know! I'm saying we can't keep we doing didn't. it! We didn't! We didn't show that. Oh, my Good God. lord. <laughs> hey, that was awesome! Nobody's <laughs> watching this, remember? It hasn't started yet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Uh, I'm gonna show. Uh, I'm gonna show f this card now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna nominate this one for uh, most obvious case of regret. All right, I'm ready with the sound effect. All right, you ready? Yep. Here. That is not a man who wants to be <laughs> in this movie <laughs> or taking this photo. Oh, he's got contacts. <laughs> he must have been miserable. He was very. Look at that. Look at, look at that. You can see how unhappy he is. Mm -hmm. Must have been a dark time in his life. Okay, let's go ahead and take a break from Battlefield Earth, and let's move on to something else. I'm taking this home. Did you want to spoil any other surprises or anything back here before? No! Are no, you good? Definitely not. Andrew, Was what that you... your only surprise? No. Uh, Andrew, what are... <laughs> what are you... What's next on the, on the run of show, buddy? Is it one of your hockeys? Yeah, we could do a hockey if you want. I, I can't see. I know we got a Barbie on there that I didn't know we had. Uh, what do you feel? I'd like to hold on to the Barbie, maybe. Okay. Uh, let's do the hockey. Is it the OPG hockey? Yeah, we can do an OPG hockey. Now, what are we searching for here, buddy? Because I don't know hockey very well. Yeah, uh, the kind of the goal from this box for me would be an Ilya Brizgalov card. I believe it's a sticker card. Uh, there's only one of him. I think he also might have a base card, but Ilya Brizgalov. Oh, boy. In the main search. What is his name again? Ilya Brizgalov? Brizgalov? Ilya Brizgalov, he's a Russian goalie, he played for Philadelphia this year. Uh, just a, hockey is such a bland sport. Yeah, uh, he had a great personality. Is very this his weird rookie guy. year? Oh, look. No, this is you? just like the year he was in Philly, which I feel like is the peak of his oh, career. Oh, okay. Kind of, that was the oh, Bonzi, buddy. That's the Bonzi? I've never seen that before in my life. You are a liar. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't, why would I see that? How could you avoid that on the internet in the 2000s? What, what That's did it do? It didn't, it, it, it it's virus. your PC with a bunch of shite, I think, but. I don't think I was looking for as much porn as you were, because uh, I didn't get the Bonsai Buddy. What was the first thing you, you typed into a search engine? No, nah, that wasn't the first thing I typed. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see. You said we're looking for Il Ilya Bods Sabnanovich, right? Brzgalov. Yeah, that... Ilya Brzgalov. All right, I'm just going to read off wait, the wait. because it doesn't mean anything to me. Was that guy who's called Gagner? Tyler, My Tyler Myers, oh. Sam Gagney. Kanye. Wait, Sam Gagner. We got Gagne and Gagner. Gagne. 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 Right, I've please. never heard of Gagne. The there Gagne are, and the I don't know if it's a real person. That's our next law firm is Gagne and Gagner. Gagne and Gagner. <laughs> we've got uh, we've got uh, Corey Perry, who was in that movie, The Mighty Ducks. Uh, uh, we've got, ooh, marquee rookie, Matt Watkins. And then Mark Letetstu. Uh huh. I don't. I don't know. I haven't heard of that guy. I don't think he's in the NHL. They're marquee rookies. Does everyone in hockey, Andrew? Does everyone fight, or just some people on the team? Uh, it's very rare for like the more skilled players to fight. That's sort of the the job of the lower, oh, less so like skilled. The bigger. fodder is is who gets it on. Yeah, mainly. I mean, it's sort of shifted across time. Um, yeah, you was you don't see enforcers that much anymore. Was his name Redeem Verbata? <laughs> it was not. There's Golov, Jeff. No, the, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna nominate this guy for for least use of vowels in a name. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that, that that counts. That's, up, That's there. up there. Campoli, uh, Sim, Simior Varlamov. Is there a lot of Russians in hockey? There's Brad, quite a few, yeah. Brad Park. Oh, we got um, uh, that guy, and Chris Kelly. Huh? Okay. I also, hope any Canuck. Money, 
Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'd be happy with any Canuck as well. This any is my Canuck. favorite team. Okay, I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, but, oh, looks like we got it. Okay. Uh, Roman Horak. That's an enemy in a video game. Yeah. <laughs> Nick Antropov. That's a gun. Antropov sounds like a chemical agent that, <laughs> that in my in my six would have to recover. Yeah. Uh, Daryl Pow. Pow. Oh shit! We got a marquee rookie. Dalton Prout looks like a uh, foil. I haven't heard of. Mark Andre Gregnani. Gregnani. Not where it's that to go. There's a famous hockey uh, goalie named Mark Andre Fleury. Uh, don't know if they're related. Well, I guess they wouldn't be, right? Last names are related, not first and middle. They might be first and related. You don't know. Uh, Logan Couture, Sidney Crosby. I've heard that name before. He's a, a good player, huh? He's yeah, a Bruin. He's like right? face of the league. Oh, no, he's, uh, a, he's, he's a, penguin. a Pittsburgh Penguin, yeah. Yep. Lane McDermott, Justin Falk, or Tyler Hall. I like that we have to wait for Andrew to tell us yeah. anything about these. <laughs> I know Post or not. And, this is actually great that Andrew's Rast. stuck doing this and not having any time to do what he should be doing right now. You're welcome. Right, because you guys, you, you and Andrew, you mentioned it, you guys are in a, in a, in a bit of a fight right now, and well, Andrew can't retaliate. The clock is stopped, Gavin. We have a bet going, and the clock is stopped, and we are waiting for a judge's ruling, because that's how Who's the judge? Happen. That's got to be figured out. Okay. Well, Someone impartial. I'll weigh in. Benoit, <laughs> sure. Benoit Poilu. Uh, Joe Pavelski, pa, 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 Poilio. Is that right, Poilio? Andrew? Poilio? Been I, I'm not familiar Poil. with that that player. Daniel Briere, like and Gru Briere was Gru great. Briere, which is a good cheese. I mean, it's the it's a flyer closest, closest to a good cheese name so far. Um, are we also gonna have best French sounding name? Best French sounding name is a good one. Yeah. Stefan Elliott, Sam Gagner again. We'll put him with the other Gagners. Gagne. Patrick Kane, Gagne Gagner. Apparently it's like Gagne or something. Mm -mm. Okay. That's what I thought, but I didn't know Chevy Chase's name. So Brian maybe Brickle. I'm not a reliable. Stop, well, don't you stop, stop, stop giving my face. <laughs> Thomas Enroth. Oh, we got a pin pun. What's a pin pun? Oh, look at how mad Derek Dorsett is. That is not a happy man. That is that is the funniest face so far. He's Without a doubt. Funny face. Him and him and uh, well, Force Wicker is the face of regret. That's just a funny face. Bobby Clark. <laughs> Patrick Sharp, Dustin Brown. We got three more packs here to pull Poivlar Vaginar. Ilya Brzgalov. Chris Phillips. Say Vaginar. Vaginar. Carl Alznar. Oh, we got Vit. Yavnov. Oinov. <laughs> Thomas Grease. Ryan Johansson. And Jordan. <laughs> Tutu. Okay. Tutu. Tutu. And what was it Voznov? Well, I don't know what happened to Voznov. But Tutu. <laughs> It's the most fun to say. He gets most fun, most fun to say. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite thing ever. Yeah. Just people's names are so funny this right now. This is why sports cards or collectible cards are fun because you just <laughs> make your own games with them. Brian Little, Hervik Tallender, Lee Stepniak, <laughs> P uh, Pele. Oh, Pe the soccer player. Oh, he looks like Michael Myers or uh, Jason from Friday Thirteenth. Is that what he's you, got the that, Friday, He's got the Friday 13th mask. Is that the order you think that happened in? Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, Pele Lindeberg, <laughs> Kerry Price, and Brad Stewart. All right, this is it. Here we go. Last one for you, Andrew. Oh, apparently. We haven't had a single Canuck. We're going to get Raskolnikov. Okay. All right. That's a uh, literary reference. Uh, not going to say his name. Brent Johnson. Victor. Yes, I will. I always hate it when, like, I watch the basketball card breaks, and then they get, like, you know, like, I don't know, uh, Pogachevsky, and they're like, I'm not gonna say it, and it's like, just fucking, just try it. Well, because they don't want to mispronounce. They don't want to mispronounce. It. Yeah. Anti Nimi, Brent Johnson, Amy. Victor Hedman. <clears throat> I mean, Tom fine, though, Wandel. I don't think you've mispronounced anything so far. Oh, Bergeron. No, you nailed it. Mark yep. Andre Ber Bergeron, <clears throat> and then Tony Lidman. Mark Andre? Is that the third Mark Andre we've gotten? Do we know who that is? Uh, well, there's the Marc Andre Fleury, and then there's that other Marc Andre earlier. I was curious if that was a different Marc Andre. Now I got a look. Earlier pull. Marc Andre Burger on, and then <laughs> maybe there's we a Burger two. off. Marc Andre Bobby Clark. Uh, what I'm learning is All that right. hockey players have better names than baseball players. They definitely have harder to pronounce names than baseball players. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, Andrew. We didn't get you. Yeah, your... that was... Is that it? Raskolnikov, 
but we did get uh, Gagner and Gagney, the law firm, and we did get doo -doo, and we got the funniest face. What Kid, comes? Derek oh. Corset was not a great hockey player. Imagine wanting hockey cards your whole life, and they finally make one, and that's that's what you get. You're so excited, you know it's coming, and you're stuck with that expression. And you for the rest of your life. Nice. That's kind of depressing. Way to bring the mood down. Okay. What do you think we should open next? I guess maybe we should go for the Game of Thrones? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we should definitely do that. Pretty excited about this. It's a this. guaranteed auto, right? It's a guaranteed auto. Pretty excited about this one. If you listen to our podcast, we've talked about this a few times. If you've not, uh, what we're chasing here in this one is an <coughs> autograph card, but not just an autograph card. On these ones, when they have the cast autograph the card, they have them write their favorite quote yeah. that their character said. And so... Uh, there's a lot of different quotes we could go for, but I, ideally we would want to get what's Hodor. Called? Hodor, uh, saying he, the guy that played Hodor just wrote Hodor. Or we want as his quote. Or we want Septonella saying shame. Yeah, or Septonella saying shame. We could also potentially, I think this is a piece of movie trivia. We could potentially get a Fred Flintstone in here because Robert Baratheon, I think, replaced John Goodman as Fred Flintstone. Are you serious? That is. That, yes, that is true. Is that's, that true? So there's a connection there. There's a connection there. There, that's that link. great. All right. Oh, well, so all right, who we got? Qu Quono, uh, Beric Dondarrion. Uh, God, it's been a while since I read these books. Oh, we got a foil card. It uh, looks like the, uh, uh, what's his name? <laughs> the eunuch and uh, Jon Snow. Uh, there's Gregor like Clegane. Every episode of the show and read all the books and you've already forgotten everyone. <laughs> Dude, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. All right, we'll go through these a little bit faster because we don't be here all night. A lot of people, when they're opening packs, when they're ripping like this, they will just open a bunch of packs. I will say the way that you carve open the boxes by like grinding straight down the front of the cardboard gives me slight anxiety. Industry standard. That's really? What they all do. I learned it from watching other assholes. Yeah. Play. yeah, it's like the main asshole move. All right, so we're gonna, as soon as I get these packed, we'll go through, okay. Ooh, we got a Brienne of Tarth. You ever been to Tarth? Is that in England? No, no? never been. Never been? No. Maybe after the pandemic's over. Oh, we got the Bells. We've got a Sansa Stark. You know, I was on a boat party with her once. Not Sansa Stark, but the actress. Comic-Con? Uh, yeah, it was Comic-Con. Did you, did you go, hi? No, I didn't talk to her at all. Uh, yeah. did, uh, you, did, did you ignore her? I did. I, okay. I did my best to ignore everybody. Uh, we got the, oh, we got Gendry looking tough. Everybody loves Gendry. There's, oh, let's see. Oh, Maester Wolken. Is that, is that Darling from Blackadder? This guy? Wait, do him again? I can't see him. Uh, no. What is it? No. I can't. Do you want to look up close? Yeah. Okay. No. Oh, this is no. a. Uh, Jon Snow meets the red Tormund. dude, Tormund. Giant's Bane. It's uh, some sort of an insert. It's textured, that's nice. Put that over there. Samuel Tarly, everybody loves Sam. Remember that hot sex scene? That was cool. Uh, Wait, no, who, who is he? Who is he doing it with? Uh, oh, because, what's her name? Yeah. T uh, t t t Tilly? 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 Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's not been that long since it was on. Edmund Tully? Oh, it was Edmund, Tur Edmund Tully. That's right. He, was, <laughs> he had the romantic thing with Edmund Tully. Perfect. <laughs> Padraig Payne? Uh, Jan Royce? Can you... Uh, Euron as, Greyjoy? As you read all their names, can you explain what happened to each character? Yeah, I can do that for sure. Spoiler warning. Lady Liana Mormont, uh, she was really tough. And she uh, she took over her people, and she stood for Winterfell. Did she live? Uh, I don't remember, but I oh. assume so, because she was a little, a little kid. There was Harry Strickland? Don't was remember it? Harry Strickland. <laughs> Ooh, we got a was... Braun! Braun lived to be an old man, and he got land and a wife, and he went and he uh, retired, right? Jerome Flynn, who yeah. I think refused, or was it the other way around? Refused to be on set with uh, Cersei. Really? I think it might have been the other way around, because I think they used to date before Game of Thrones, and it was uh, a bit ugly. Uh, Sir Jorah Mormont? He, uh, he My got... My favorite character. He got Stone Scale, right? And, uh, or Stone Skin? Yeah, and then he... Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, Cersei Lannister, she got a bad haircut around season six. <laughs> uh, Winterfell. <laughs> Edison Tollett, he was interesting. <laughs> I didn't ever know that guy's name. I didn't Tollett? either. He was, uh, he was a member of the Night's Watch. Yeah, I remember. He was all right. 
thought he was going to yeah. be a little bit of turd, but then he turned out not to be. Action scene <clears throat> from, um, oh, there's Melisandre again right there. Uh, that's her rookie card, I believe. The Melisandre rookie card. That was <laughs> uh, there's a love scene. Ooh, we got Lady Alice Carstar. See, compare that name to... N nobody remembers her. <laughs> that's a cool name. There's a cool game with her name. Yeah. And then you've got Harry Strickland. <gasps> <laughs> oh, shit. Signed. We got a Dan Hildebrand auto. Wait, who is that? I don't know. Who was he? But he said he signed his name in uh, gold. I okay, remember. I got all the, all the important information Was right he here. in Koth? Was this he one of the limited, Koth boys? This limited edition autographed card has been personally signed by Dan Hildebrand as Crazen's Mo Naklaws. <laughs> Everyone's favorite character. Wait, did he, face write, of the show. did he just write Dan? Yeah, he just wrote Dan. Good move. Dan H. Okay, we'll go ahead and our first auto. Yeah, it's our first auto. The first Pretty ever exciting. face break shit auto. Did you watch this show, Andrew? Yeah, looking at these cards, it's amazing how little I remember. I'm blown away. I've too. recognized I, like I feel three like I've faces. Watched, I watched through the whole show like four times, aside from the end. Grey Worm. Yeah. Remember Very it? cool character. Yeah. Uh, it was a member of the Unsullied, had part of his penis cut off, but it didn't stop him from living a rich, full life and loving <laughs> Uh, that lady uh, <laughs> met this dude. He's a actually interesting dude. Uh, on that same night on that on that boat, except I actually talked to him for quite a bit because he was friend of a friend. He's a hip hop guy. He oh, has okay. a, like a rap right. career. Fair pretty, play. He's pretty uh, pretty talented. British, I believe. Yep. Uh, oh, there's Tormund, uh, Giant Spain. Do you know him? Did you guys? You're British. I am, but there are some of them that I don't know yet. We just never <laughs> cross paths. Right. Because it's a much smaller country. It is. It's yeah. tiny. Yeah. In comparison, sixty-five million. I don't Something. know how many, 65 million, that's just like half of Texas. How, is it, wait, how many are in Texas? No, nah, we have 330 million in America. Okay. I'll just be a dick. Yeah. Andrew, what are the chances we'll get another autograph in this? Uh, I think zero, right? Zero, all right, we'll probably stop then. Tyrion Lannister, never heard of him. <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> Was a thing happened? Do you remember this iconic scene when four people stood and looked at each other? Yeah, wait, snow? put it on camera again? Yeah, that was great. Uh, yeah. There it is. Got it. Oh, is that? Mm. That was definitely worth making a card of. Okay. Yes. Jon Snow. All right. Uh, now the challenge is to find a Jon Snow where he doesn't look really pissed off. Uh, Iron Throne. Oh, Gilly. That was her name. Gilly, not There's Tilly. Gilly. <laughs> Gilly. Uh, Jon Snow where he doesn't look pissed. He looks like he's about to cry here. Yeah. Oh, I think he looks mad. There's another Braun. Braun again. This is the Braun base card. Uh, Yara Greyjoy. Oh yeah, that wow. she's an interesting character to me, and caused a lot of confusion because in the books, oh she had a different name. Didn't her she name know? is. Uh, it's similar to the uh, the lady who watches Rickon and uh, what is her name, the Wildling. Osha. No. Osha. Yeah, her name is Osha. Her name is Osha. <laughs> <laughs> no, her name is Asha Greyjoy. In the oh. book, A S H A, Asha Greyjoy, and that character's name is Osha, and so for the show, to avoid confusion on the TV show, they renamed her to Yara, and then I didn't know that, and we were very confused talking about the same person and not realizing it for a while. Drogon, she makes his quite the entrance by grabbing Single. her uh, brother's penis. She does do in, that in the first scene that she's in. And then a lot of people grab that penis, and they cut it off, and they put it in a box. Yeah, that penis traveled probably a little bit further than. Theon Greyjoy. Through the uh, Winterfell mails. Oh, uh, there we go. There's a uh, little Arya, Maisie Williams. You and Maisie Williams are buddies, right? Well, I've never met her. Yeah. You guys are, are pals. Theon Greyjoy, <coughs> speaking of the penis, speaking there of. it is. Uh, Sir Jamie Lannister, not the best photo of him. He's a really attractive <laughs> dude. But, uh, Viserion, Bran Stark. He's all like... <laughs> uh, uh, oh, here's a Sansa thinks she's smarter than everyone. It's a quote card. Oh, look at that. She's the smartest person I've ever met, Arya Snark. Stark. <laughs> Let the dragons eat whatever they want. Who cares? Okay, there's Bran again. And Maester, Grandmaster Quyburn. Oh, I actually remember how he died. How did Quyburn die? I think he stood up to the mountain, and the mountain picked him up and just smashed his head like an egg. In the, into a wall, right? Yeah. Oh, and, I and forgot. It splattered all over the floor. Spoiler. I brought, I brought these gloves. To be oh. protective of the cards, and I forgot to put them on. <laughs> Got all your oils on them. Yeah, get my. All right, more Game of Thrones. I'm liking these ones. You liking the Game of Thrones? Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. keep going with them then. <laughs> what? He's struggling to put a glove on. You're a pro at this, Jeff. 
Failed it. Okay. Yep. Flawless. I love everything about this stream. So much. As soon as it's over, we can. Uh, do hey. That oh. exam you were asking yeah. about. Yeah. Well, I could have yeah. started doing that soon. You do. I, listen, I'm 45. I've had it done. I consider myself an expert. I'm happy to give how you. How many a free times one. have you had it? Well, how long does it last you? A, a good prostate check. I haven't had one in years. I couldn't tell you. Might be time again. Probably might be time. Well, we got extra gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not a yearly thing? Is somebody checking your prostate every year? Yeah. I mean, it should be the... for you. Yeah. The amount of blood coming out. It's true. Hey, that was a one-time thing. <laughs> I got it occasionally in the army. Uh, sometimes that, you know, related to medical stuff. Sometimes not. Uh, it's just the army, you know? Yeah. Uh, and then uh, since then, a few times, but not very often. Doctors don't delight in putting their finger up your butt, typically, so. At least in, in my butt, at least. I've, in my experience, they, uh. They do it sparingly. <laughs> oh, nailing it with it. <laughs> These fucking gloves, I don't like. All right, gloves are off. <laughs> well, like, Wait, hang on. Did you just did you just take the gloves off? I don't like them. Yeah. Game of Thrones, the bells. The, oh, there's got a hollow Viserion. Yes, or a foil Viserion. Yes, I did, Eric. Jon Snow. Oh, pissed off again. Lady Lady Aelis Karstark again. Bran foil card. I think the car uh, Starks Norman. were in uh, some sort of alliance with the main Starks. Sir Beric Dondarrion again. <gasps> Ooh. Oh shit, so yeah, is there a throne card. card and you can like slot that over the top and put <laughs> that person on the throne? Yeah, that would be cool. Look at this. Who is that Very on clear there? Clear acetate. It looks like somebody I've never seen before. Let me see. It's uh, this grayscale guy. Oh, it's Jorah, it Mor it's Jorah Mormon. It doesn't yeah. look anything like him. He looks exactly like him. Yeah, yeah, he looked, I recognized him immediately. He <laughs> knows Ned. Uh, no. <laughs> There's never any consideration of him being on the throne, right? For the entire no, series. No, no, makes yeah, no sense. That's a very. I mean, he got kicked out of the. He probably, kings. he probably took that photo at South by Southwest on the throne <laughs> when he opened everybody up. <laughs> they were like, this is great. And they had the traveling throne. <laughs> He's like, finally. Let's set this guy up. All right, let's see. Back at it. Game of Thrones, there's Grey Worm again, there's uh, Sandra Clegane, Brienne of Tarth, uh, Sir Davos Seaworth. I he, liked him. He's a great called character. Called Onion Knight. Yeah. Sir Davos. He was on your bow as well, I think, wasn't he? He was. Yeah, he was a cool dude. Arya Stark. Does a bit of a Geordie accent in Game of Thrones. Yeah, he does. Tyrion Lannister. Uh, more action shots of shit I don't remember. Gilly again. <laughs> if anybody's looking for a Gilly, I'll happy to trade you. Uh, another Clegane. Uh, some dragons are about to make out. Uh, ooh, Night King! That's our first Night King, our first White Walker. That's cool. Ooh. They changed the actor of the Night King, right? So theoretically, Robin there's multiple Night King cards. Yeah, Lord they changed Paris. the actor on the mountain, the mountain like too, right? three times as Did well. Did they really? Yeah. Well, it was first. It was. I thought it was the muscle, the guy who lifts weights. That was, was one the of them. Third mountain, though, I think. The first one was the guy, the beardy guy who cut the horse in half, and then the second mountain was just some really tall, thin dude, and then he became the big Icelandic Hulk man. So. And then he became the zombie mountain. Through the course of that show, there were three different people that played that character. Yeah. I had no idea. I had no clue. The, the second like one same was the, the weirdest ice. one. Did you know what was going on, or is that something you found out later? Did you recognize it and be like, that seems like a different dude? Uh, if you just watch them all back to back. Oh, I never did that. Then uh, it's, it's obvious. Pretty obvious. Yeah. There was another dude that got recast, too. It was the dude that was like... Dario Naharis. Yeah, that he, him as well, right? That's Is that the guy that he was got, like he got a love interest for Daenerys? Briefly? Yeah. Yeah. He became that guy who was in The Haunting of Hill House. Did you ever see that? Which one? There's the the original movie, then there's the remake with like Jennifer Lopez. The series. Oh, I, on I saw the I saw the first episode and it was too scary. <laughs> Ron Yara Greyjoy. Ooh, a Night King for. Oh, dude, that. isn't that nice? So in in cards, you won't see this kind of stuff in the <clears throat> older baseball cards, the stuff from the '90s. That was pre what are called inserts and parallels and relics. Baseball cards uh, or sports cards, collectible cards, changed in the late 90s, early 2000s. I started including different kinds of cards to create collectability like this. 
which is considered a parallel because there is a normal Night King that's called the base card, and then there is a rarer, harder to find version of it here that is foil. And I actually brought a bunch of cards. I brought my Marcus Smart collection to show examples of that if it ever comes up. But here's Jamie Lannister again. There's uh, Bran. There's L Leanna Mormont. Harry Str That's a lot of cards. Ooh. This one's got a this is a gold leaf oh, damn. card. Oh. It foil it. Oh, it's fucking numbered. Look at that. This oh, is number one eighteen of one seventy five. I will have to sleeve that. Let's sleeve it. So that means for that, <laughs> uh, this is a serial numbered card, which means uh, if you can see it, there are this is number one hundred eighteen. There are only one hundred and seventy five of this card in the world. And this is a very common practice. Now, there'll be sometimes 30 versions of this for every card. Like say Marcus Smart, my favorite player. There'll be one that's got 300 cards, and then there'll be one that's got 200, and one that's got 100, and one that's got 50, and 25, all the way down to one. So there'll be a one of one of them? Yeah, I have, here, I can mm -hmm. show you one right now. Uh, I only have one Marcus Smart that's a one of one, but it's this Dude. one right here. This is, that, is, is that the best one you ever pulled? No, I didn't pull this. I bought it on eBay. Oh. But uh, show this. <laughs> this is what's called a printing plate here, right here. You can see it is the magenta printing plate from this card. It's a pretty rare one. It's called a National Treasure card. It's some of the most expensive. And you can see where it says magenta plate one of one. So this is the only one of these cards on Earth. Shit. The only one that exists. So. You know what else is a one of one? What's that? EricBedure.com. Uh, available, feel no. free to email. Have the inquiries a, dried real... up? Oh, lost our... No, no, we got over 80. I haven't looked at any of them, but it's, it's true. You don't even real at authentic one one Well, I'm trying. You get me to pull up things about bowling and Flintstones, okay? Just, I got <laughs> a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, Melisandre right. again. Hey check, hey, check this out real quick. Um, so... We can either go ten more minutes, or I can, or I can say, "Fuck it, let's keep going, and we'll just, and we'll just keep it going to like the top of the hour." What do you guys want to do? Oh, uh, we just got hit. Oh, dang! We just got hit. We'll what was table that? that. We got a. Oh shit! This is uh, Tim Plester. We all remember Tim Plester <laughs> and the <laughs> famous, famous line <laughs> from Game of Thrones. Do you want to say it together? <laughs> all right, we we quote it all the time. Uh, you're out one, two, three. Pie, pie anyone? Pie, anyone? <laughs> I couldn't really read his right. Pie, I anyone? The, I love the people that just write that first name and that's it. <laughs> wow. That's Is that his cool. only line in the show? That's what I do. Uh, yeah, and, and, and unfortunately that scene was cut, so. <laughs> Is he the one who... I don't... Who cuts off Jamie's hand? That wasn't him, I don't I don't think that's him, I think. No. I, but it's fucking cool, though. So we didn't get Ho we didn't get Hodor and we didn't get Shame, but we did get that classic Game of Thrones line, pie anyone? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember that. You don't remember the iconic no. Tim Plester moment? Was he No, I don't. I tried to look it up and I just get results for hot pie, a completely right. different pie related character. Yeah. Because he made sense. the bread a lot, didn't he? He made like wolf bread. Wolf bread? He made bread in the shape, it was like a cracker in the shape of a wolf, wasn't it, for, for Arya? I have no idea what you're talking about. You mean hot pie? Hot pie? Yeah. Hot, hot Fish pie, pie. Yeah, didn't he? Fish pie, is that what you <laughs> Yeah, but that's not the pie we're talking about. That's, that's a different pie. It's a different pie, dude. That's it. We're gonna well, need... I know that hot pie is different. We're going to need somebody to remember all of these categories so that we can we didn't maintain get... them and keep going. So what are our contestants, our contenders for a uh, lawyer team? Uh, our contenders for lawyer team are Gagney and Gagner, right? <laughs> Gagney and Gagner, and then we have uh, Miller. We have Kurt Miller and Mike Lieberthal. L Miller and Lieberthal. What, were they the ones? That nope. was our l lawyer team, right? No. No. Who was the lawyer team? <laughs> oh, it might have been here. Was it? It was Thigpen and Pluck. It was Pluck and Thigpen. Yeah. There yeah. We go. I had it. Plunk and Thigpen. So so do we want to go to the top of the hour? Or you guys want to wrap it up in five? Let's go to the top five. of the hour. Oh, baby, let's do it. All right. You want to do that, Gav? You got, you got another half hour in? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. Uh, well, I forgot to feed the pack sack. You're going to have to remind me to do that. So instead of feeding it, let's eat from it. <clears throat> oh, can I pull one. a pack? Yeah, I'm going to pull one, you pull one, and then I'll, I'll pull one for Andrew. All right. This is Jeff. Okay. Lion King. Nice. This is Andrew. Great. The creators of the... Un Where the fuck that is? And then... <laughs> I'm going deep. Creator's universe. 
shit. <laughs> Lion King. <laughs> All right. Oh, you love your Lion King. Oh, shit. <laughs> Out the gate, got a Simba. You got a signed Simba? I got an 87 Simba and a 90 Simba. Look at that Ow. shit. I got a young Simba and an old Simba. Not to mention Shinzi, Bonsai, and Ed. Well, that's a law, a law firm right there. Who are they? Oh, the hyenas? The hyenas. Oh, these are sticky. Yeah, these are. How do they smell? Simba 83. These are in shitty condition. God. Simba 88. So it's just like four different pictures of the same character. Oh, they like rip it. Oh, that smells like the. It actually smells like the '90s. What smells worse, the Battlefield Earth cards or the? These the smell line? better. Let me see. Wow, I don't think I've smelled that since the mid '90s. God, they do smell like the '90s. What is that smell though? I don't know, dude, but I like it. And when? And where did it go? You know what we should do? We should make that a, a, a air freshener. The '90s. Yeah. Because we have we have something in the works. We could also potentially rank the best smelling card that we find. Yeah. But that could be a spot on the uh, the Hall of Fame there. All right, turbine. let's see what's going on in the creator universe. Are they glued together? You know, the ones that are glued together probably. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> My pack. Thank you, Jeff. Well, let's, let's do see. A Andrew got a. <laughs> what did I get? You got a blast. You got a mind oh, right. frag. You got right. a bulldog. A minefield. You got a fucking. Ava? <laughs> All right. Hey, one didn't rip. What was that? You, okay, I've got... Well, they can't, I got Rafiki. You got Rafiki? Yeah. They can't all be winners. These cards are beat to shit. I got eh? Darth Vader. Oh, uh, Darth Vader. Sarabi. Sounds like a Pokemon. Where did Darth Vader come from? Oh, the carrot. I get it. Yeah, it's James, James Earl Jones. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Another Rafiki thing? Ooh, another Rafiki. Another Sarabi? No. I don't know if I've ever seen a James Earl Jones movie. And Mr. Bean. You never seen any of the, the Star Wars? I guarantee you've seen any seen... of the Star Wars that he was in. I haven't seen uh, Lion King. What I don't know if I've ever seen a James Earl Jones. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no problem. Uh, what should we open up next, Gav? <laughs> I'll tell you what we do. Let's get a little current, okay? Let's open. This is the first pack that I've been able to buy. Oh, that was You're going to go I went a little deep straight through. Uh, this is 2021-22 Donruss basketball. Shit. That, uh -oh. that card getting shit. ripped up was hard to watch. Oh, I mean, these are the most valuable cards we've opened, right? Like, there's real These value are the only valuable cards we've opened so far. And the yeah. ones that you stab the knife right through the box? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, we'll open up the whole thing and go through them. Uh, after this, maybe we'll pop open some, uh, I kind of want to hold on to Barbie for a later day. Maybe we'll open up some of the Hollywood training cards, see what's okay. up with that. And then uh, maybe we can do a pack sack or two and then finish with the $500 box of cards that I'm desperate to open. And Gotta make room for Maverick too. Gotta make what? Head in the Maverick, the Maverick cards. Oh, right. I forgot about the Maverick cards, too. So if we're going to continue doing this, I'd love some feedback from the audience on ways that you think we can improve. Obviously, there's probably some technical stuff we could do. I need to get better about showing you the cards as I open them. We're not. Used we to... could probably try and have our entire cast in the same room. We could. Point. We could try to do that as well. Uh, yeah, we can just try to get the people to, the, the people that we cast to show up. There's, <laughs> obviously, there's a few little areas like small areas to improve like that. Uh, but, you know, hopefully you guys like this and you'll want us to continue because I would like to do this forever. All right, let's go through and see. This is real cards, so there'll be real value in these. I saw I'm gonna get the other day, you. so I'm going to show you something. I saw the other day. Well, shit, that's a huge pull. Okay, I saw the other day <laughs> a, a really good one in the a lamello, Yeah, a Lamello Ball rookie that went for $20,000. That might be in here. So. All right, I'm, I'm going to get a drink. You go get a Tyler Hero. He uh, helped beat the Celtics. Uh, in the Most East punchable West face here. in basketball. I'd What'd you say? say? Most punchable face in basketball. Tyler Hero. Andrew, Tyler Hero. Andrew contends that Tyler Hero has the most punchable face in basketball. 
I don't know that I agree, but let's see what. Well, shit. Let's see what. Uh, let's see what Gavin thinks. Gavin, do you think this guy's got the most punchable face in basketball? He refers to himself as a bit of a dog. That's what he says. Uh, it's up there. Probably an eight out of ten. Yeah. Jeff Green no longer plays for the Houston Rockets. He's actually playing for the uh, Super Team uh, Nets. He used to play for the Celtics back in the day. A lot of people did. Brian Forbes, Josh Hart. Now, what you want to go for here, you want a LaMelo Ball, you want an Anthony Edwards. LaMelo Ball is the hot ticket. Aaron Neesmith, great expectations. This is awesome because he is a Celtic rookie. That's good for Jeff. I, I've got a 1,000 of those, though, but I'll take one more. Jimmy S. Ramsey, Jordan Wara, rookie for the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, oh, this is uh, Della Dova, or Della Vadova. He, uh, he's Australian. Matthew Del yeah. There's a lot of Australian basketball players. Bobby Portis, Kimba Walker, he's a Celtic, Jared Culver, <laughs> DeMontis Sabonis, best dude uh, on that team that gets no respect. Uh, Trey Young, now playing, franchise features. Worst hair in basketball. I like Trey Young. He's a really talented dude. Easily the worst hair in nice basketball. Yeah, it doesn't look bad there, but if you saw him in person, no. it would. Lamella Ball, Lamella Ball rated rookie. Holy shit. Okay, I don't have one of these yet because I haven't actually bought any packs. This is the first pack of basketball I bought this year, and I got a Lamella rookie. So this is great. These is are going for... Andrew, you want to see what these are going for slabbed? Yeah, sure. The M Lamello Donruss. His last name is Bull? Yeah, his brother plays. Well, you don't know about Lamella Ball, do you? Mm -mm. His brother is a guy named Lonzo Ball. He plays. He was a big deal when he came in. But a and this guy's better than his brother, but the, th uh, the thing about these guys is their dad is insane. Uh -oh. Dad is, he's like a crazy helicopter parent who like has tried to like challenge Michael Jordan to a one-on-one -on -one game, started a shoe brand based on a son called Big Baller Brand, has become like this crazy figure, like larger than life figure. And he actually, uh, people hated him so much, it hurt his, the other kid's career, Lonzo. Uh, he's calmed down since then and LaMelo has been able to have a, a lot more success. Although, just tremendous player. Although, he broke his, broke his wrist, so he's not playing right now. Derek White, Duncan Robinson, DeAndre whatever, James Harden. Uh-oh. Here we go. This is going to be a relic. Taj Gibson jersey. Look at that. I'm seeing listings for like $90 to $80 for that lamella. It's about 100 bucks, probably, yeah. yeah. So, uh, they were higher earlier, but they've come down now. Uh, so, this is what's called a relic card. Lately, people are calling them Mem cards, I don't like that. Like memorabilia? Memorabilia. Okay. I, it sounds too much like meme to me. Yeah. Uh, I prefer relic. So that's but from something he wore? Yeah, so that potentially. So there's on the back, when you, anytime you get one of these cards, you can look at it right down here. It'll say the enclosed game worn used material, which was worn used as a member of the Minnesota Timberwolves, is guaranteed. So this means that this was game worn which means that not only did he wear it, but he wore it in a game. Damn. Which makes it worth more. Yeah. A lot of times, they'll just give him 30 jerseys and just put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off, and they just chop those up. <laughs> so when it's game-worn, that's a little, little harder to what do. What a life. So is this the, kind of, the thing that Andrew was talking about where he found it unacceptable that there was like a, a towel? Or was that your yeah. suggestion? Yeah, tools of the trade. That was Andrew yeah. found it unacceptable. I actually can show you that card real fast. <laughs> What Gavin's referring to is a relic card that I have from Marcus Smart called Tools of the Trade. Got it right here. Uh, <laughs> where'd it go? Uh, and the tool in this case is just a swatch of... This is an insane collection of his towel. sleeved cards. This is just Marcus Smart, dude. This is not my collection. My collection is... I got 30 more of these boxes. This is just this guy. And these aren't even, like, sleeved in the same way. They're, like... These are all... plastic -ed. Yeah, these are top loaded or uh, I don't know where it is, but it's in here somewhere. Maybe it's back here. I think it was more just calling a towel a tool of the trade. What would you and call I'll... it? It's a towel. I don't think it's a tool of like nobody's ah. using. There's no like spe specific type things for towels. There's no hey, strategy. Want to zoom in on this bad boy? You'll see it. Not only is it a Marcus Smart tool of the trade, <laughs> it's a rookie tool of the trade, and he's wearing it around his head like the Virgin Mary like on the they've, card. They've zoomed into the towel area. Yeah. And Not only <laughs> do I have his rookie tool of the trade, I have this year's tool of the trade. But this one is a this one is a little higher quality. It's his outfit. Uh, anyway. 
when Andrew makes that makes sense. Like a jersey, I'm okay with, but nobody like the towel is a useless item. It's a best. tool. You want to see the coolest jersey card I have? I, I have two of them actually. They're they were pretty expensive, but uh, look at these. These are fat patches. Look at these. These are rookie patches. They're huge. They're beautiful. Yeah. Is that like are. some of the number? Uh, yeah, yeah, or the letter, or the lettering, and this is these are both of this is 31 of 50, and this is 48 of 50. Uh, this is immaculate. <clears throat> One of these boxes of cards will cost you how much? A box of immaculate cost Andrew 10 grand. It's extremely expensive. Two and grand. The range is based on yeah. yeah, it's it's in the thousands. So could it's, we cut up a. Uh face hat prototype and shove them in cards. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Mm. Yeah. We, we will yeah. eventually make cards and we will have relics in it. Uh, however, this this Immaculate, there's like the craziest top of the line. There's three brands. There's Immaculate, there's Eminence, and there's National Treasures. Those fucking boxes will go for 10, 20 grand sometimes. Jesus. And that's where you pull the cards that everybody thinks they're gonna get. Like yesterday, I wanna say, a LeBron James rookie card sold for $5.3 million, and it was one of those. I, I think it might have been a National Treasure or Immaculate, but uh, $5.3 million. Because it was a rookie, it was autographed, it was, a t it was graded, right? So it was a 10 on the autograph and a nine on the card, so it wasn't even a, a mint card. When I say graded, I mean like this. This is what a graded <clears throat> card looks like. So what would bring it, it from a 10 to a nine, like a bit of wear? Any imperfection of at all. It's almost impossible to get a 10, and it requires, and then even if you do, like there's a bunch of different grading services. Uh, and this is the kind of information I want to give people because when I got back into collecting, it's, it's not easy. There's not a, a lot of guides out there to help you. You kind of got to figure it out on your own. Uh, so I kind of beat my head against a wall to kind of figure this stuff out. But um, PSA is considered the highest graded company. So when you get a card graded like PSA 10, uh, or when you get it graded 10, that's when it's as valuable as it can possibly be. But then if it's a PSA 10, as opposed to another company like PGA, this mm -hmm. is worth more than this ah. because this company is more reputable. So anyway. So what would that be graded as? This I'm thinking <laughs> is, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. This we're thinking, if you can get close on this one, this is a Taco Fall rookie <laughs> that my dog ate. I think this is a one. <laughs> Andrew and I were thinking it would be fun. This is a, this is a Taco Fall, the 2019-2020 Prism, or 2018-2019 Prism rookie, that Arrow, it's still got something for blood on it, from when she chewed it. Uh, blood? Yeah, well, all this plastic's not good for her mouth. Uh, but I held on to it, and Andrew and I were thinking it would be fun to try to get the same card, like we'll just pick a card, like Taco Fall, and then send them and see if you can get a one, two, three, four, five, six. See what ah. the difference from one to ten is. Yeah. yeah, I feel like getting a two would probably be one of the hardest ones. Probably, I right? I feel like they would very quickly become ones. This won't grade. If I sent this to them, they would return it. They would go fuck <laughs> off, right? Just be a you. So it's the the goal. The the difficulty is to fuck a card up enough to give it a one, <laughs> but not so much. That mm -hmm. that'd be they a great series. Grade. Like, hey, this week we're trying to make a four. That's what we're doing. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's what we're gonna do. Like, that was Andrew's idea. And we're definitely gonna good idea, it. Andrew. Thank uh, you. It's like, just nobody wants a low number. Nobody submits with the hope of that. The pursuit of that. I feel like we'd be the first. If you send a card off to get it graded and it comes back less than a nine, it's considered <laughs> that you've damaged the value of the card. Right. Yeah. Because uh, anything under a nine won't won't get raw prices. Okay, Kawhi Leonard, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Mitchell Robinson. Uh, we got John Wall. He's having a tough time down in Houston, poor guy. Nikola Jokic, probably going to win the uh, MVP this year. Cassius Winston, wow. rated rookie, orange parallel. It's a card. That's a really nice card. It's really pretty, huh? Is it uh, numbered? No, no, it won't be numbered. I can show you all the parallels for this card with Marcus Smart. I have a bunch of them. I'll show them in a minute. There's some real pretty ones in there. Tyrell Terry, rookie. Peyton Pritchard, rookie. Uh, this guy is awesome. They call him 8 Mile uh, or Fast PP or P Rabbit. Mm -hmm. He's uh, doing really well for the Celtics. My Celtics. I'm sorry, Andrew, our Celtics. Uh, right mm -hmm. now. Really love that dude. Joe Harris, probably the best shooter in basketball, unfortunately. Lori Markanen, uh, Langston Galloway. Let's see. I say unfortunately because he plays for our rival. Uh, Markel Fultz, rough career Markel Fultz has had after being rookie of the year. CJ McCollum, uh, Zion Williamson, complete players. This is a year two card. This is nice. This will probably fetch 20 bucks. I'll throw that over there. Saban Lee, Tyler Bay. Jordan Poole, Luke Kennard. Luke Kennard's a cool dude. I think Kennard's a shitty name, too. 
like Luke Kennard. Doesn't roll <clears throat> off the tongue. Oh. It's not fun. Kennard. I'm gonna put it in the bad names, but I don't know that it's like <laughs> legendarily bad. But RJ Barrett, second year, Dwayne Bacon. I just bought a Dwayne Bacon rookie the other day because it was cheap <laughs> and it was really nice. Actually, just the word bacon? Yeah, his last name is Bacon. We'll put him over here. We have a lot of food-related stuff yeah. we want to do. We should see if we can make a meal. We're going to try to, yeah, we'll make a meal. That's a great idea. Great idea. Robert is there Parrish, like a Timmy Eggs? Timmy Eggs. If there's not, we'll find one. <laughs> James Wiseman, rated rookie. He is uh, also hurt. I think he's having surgery, maybe. Shit, make an injured pile. Yeah, Damn. yeah. He was the number two in the draft, I believe. Skylar Mays, Rudy Gobert. That's the... Wasn't it Rudy Gobert earlier? Weird. Uh, I'm pretty sure we got another Rudy Gobert in there. Uh, Orange Parallel. Another Rudy Gobert, Orange Parallel. Kira Lewis again. Jalen Smith again. This guy, nerdiest glasses in basketball. Yep. Yeah. He's real cool, though. Rookie. Are they goggles? Uh, yeah, he's got, like, goggles. But it makes him look like, uh, I don't know, super nerd. Whoa. Cam Reddish. Karis Levert. No longer plays for the Nets. This dude, he got traded when uh, the Nets sold their soul for James Harden. So they traded him. He ended up in Indiana. And as he was about to play, had to, they have to, when you go from team to team, you have to take a physical. When they took a physical, that idea had cancer. Shit. I think it was cancer, right? So he had to go and have like a tumor removed and stuff. And he's fine now. But he was saying that he's actually so happy he got traded because if he hadn't been traded, he doesn't know how long they would have taken him to find that out. And so he actually got helped. Uh, a lot faster because he got I'm the surprised boot. they even tested for that. I guess for like insurance reasons. Like, yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. They probably do a <clears throat> serious round of tests for these guys. Uh, Davis Bertons looks like, I think about this every time I see this dude. Davis Bertons looks like a villain in, <laughs> it looks like a mean teenager in King of the Hill or Beavis and Butthead. You can get really so close on his face, you'll see what I mean. He is definitely the most cartoon <laughs> bully. He's, he is like high school cartoon bully. Yeah. Yeah. It, it kind of looks like those, those uh, things that kids have where they have a picture of someone without clothes and they're bald, and then you can just like stick hair on them, <laughs> like does. stick clothes on. That's a, good, that's a good call. Otto Porter Jr., Robert Covington, Luka Doncic, Orange Parallel. That's a year three wow. card, but Luka, Luka cards are one of the few that maintain value. The way it kind of works is... It's worth a lot, a player is worth a lot their rookie year, and then they're worth a decent amount their second year. And then outside of that, they're really not worth anything. With the exception the of LeBron player. James and Luka Doncic, are probably mm. the only two. Tyrese Maxey and Josh Green. And that is it for the first ever pack of 2021 Donruss that I've ever opened. And I was gonna uh, show you, what's up, Andrew? I was just gonna say, when we first started collecting basket, when did we, 2018? Jack, yeah. What year was Luka's rookie? Yeah, so we started when Luka was a rookie. And we just bought like two boxes each. They're each $60. Mm -hmm. Those boxes are now worth like $500 per yeah. box. Yeah. This is Luca's rookie status. Well, that's been part of why I wanted to do this is when I first started collecting again, you could buy a box for like, you know, 100 bucks and you felt like you were being gouged. Now that same box of Donruss will cost you like eight, 900. And it's just like, it's ruined collecting for the average person. I'm gonna lay these out and see, so you can kind of see what I was talking about, about different parallels. These are all from this year's Donruss. I bought all these on eBay. I didn't obviously pull any of these from PAX, but this is from my Marcus Smart collection. So you can see all the different versions. <laughs> and here's the orange parallel of this one card. And is each one of these different? Uh, yeah, each one of these is different. I'll show you. So this, and I don't have them all. I don't have nearly all of them, but this is, they, they go down to a one of one, right? So, and there is a one of one online, but I can't afford it. Oh, uh, I this think is, I'm just like becoming interested enough to, oh, I don't want to spend money on this stuff. So don't get, I don't want to become any more into this than I already am. This is a gold parallel, gold refractor, maybe is what it's called. Uh, this is 14 of 25. So there's only 25 of this one. Then this one is blue, so it's 49. This one is of 99, this one's of 99. The purple refractor was actually my favorite. I think it's really pretty. Uh, then you've got a press proof of 349 here, then the green, then orange, then yellow and green, then just green foil, then the normal card. So. This is interesting. Yeah, and that's, um, some of these have as many as like 30 or 40. Like if I were to get crazy, I would show you, this is all the same. Like this is where it gets fucking nuts. Uh, I have so many of different kinds of this card. 
I have, I think, 26 or 27 different ones, like you can see. Uh, like, well, anyway. Uh, what should we open? <laughs> I can show you cards all day long. What can we open? I was, I was going to say, hey, just for the sake of uh, keeping them wanting more, I say we got about 15 minutes left. Okay. It, so let's, let's uh, you don't have to speed run anything, but let's get to the, the thing that you've been waiting for the most and like let's spend some time and go out on top. All right, let's go out on top. I'm going to do this then. Uh, this is a bit selfish. I know we just opened basketball, but we're going to do one last round. This is 2014-2015 NBA hoops. Now, this is important to me uh, because... I collect Marcus Smart for the Boston Celtics. He's my favorite player. And I obviously, this is my collection of just Marcus Smart cards. As you can see, um, <laughs> I don't even want to think about how much money I've spent on these. This is all rookie cards. This whole sleeve is just his rookie cards. And they're all like, you know, crazy different. All very rare. Uh, so, but I have never pulled a Marcus Smart rookie from a pack because I wasn't collecting back in 2014. And I thought, I'm going to fucking splurge, and I'm going to buy his rookie year. It was about 485 bucks. Not because of Marcus box? for this box. Not because of Marcus Smart, because he's not worth that much, uh, even though he should be. Uh, but because it's also Joel Embiid and Nikola Jokic's rookie card, uh, rookie year as well, and some other really talented players who are worth a ton of money. So this is the second most expensive box of cards I've ever opened. The first was a box that Emily got me for Christmas that was very expensive. It only had five cards in it. Oh, really? Yeah. You got anything good? Everything is good. When you buy that box, everything's good. I got a really awesome Dennis Rodman auto. Uh, so, this is really exciting to me. Dennis Rodman. Huh? I forgot about Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman. There could be thousands of dollars. Has he been to North Korea in. recently? I don't, I don't think so. I think he's laying low. I think he's, uh. he's mellowed out in his old age. You know his daughter, Dennis Rodman's daughter, plays professional soccer, I think. She plays, yep. it's either professional soccer or professional volleyball. I just saw an article or a story about her, and she's like in the pros there, and uh, somebody said, uh, do you attribute like a lot of your success to your dad? And she goes, my mom's been more helpful. <laughs> she was very <laughs> kind about it, but she was like, my mom's been my rock. <laughs> I'll just open all these up, and as we're doing this, we can talk. If the chat has any questions or anything, I guess we can answer them. I want to be as informative and helpful as I can. If you're at all interested in pursuing this as a hobby or even just entertained and watching it, like I said, my girlfriend couldn't give two shits about cards, but she will watch two or three hours a night of card breaks just because she thinks it's exciting to see a big pull, you know? And I guess it is. It's the same reason I watch yeah, it. Yeah, it's like... It's satisfying when there's no big pull, and then it's exciting when there is. Yeah, it's exciting when there is. It's like a little, it's like Gus one time, I thought, gave the most apropos description of a TV show we watched. We were both big fans of The Shield, and when it was on, and Gus described it as a series of small heart attacks for 60 minutes. <laughs> That's kind of how opening up boxes of cards are for me. It's a series of tiny little heart attacks, but they're all good heart attacks. They're like yeah. little explosions yeah. of joy. Uh, and anticipation. It's and it, so much fun to chase cards. It is. Like, even if you miss out, it's just like you're still in the process of trying to find that thing. The feeling of finally pulling something that you've wanted for a long time is uh, so great. And there are so many great moments, too, that come before you even open it. Like, I'll see if Gavin, you tell what's going on here? You tell the difference between these two? No. Okay. The difference is... Uh, this is a normal pack, normal width. This is thicker. This means there's a relic card in there. Oh, until like it's thicker, a bit of until it feels thicker. Something? Yeah, so that's gonna have an autograph or a jersey in there, or both. Oh yeah. But oh yeah. There's only gonna be one or two of these in a box. So you, your hands learn to feel for them when you find them. Anyway, so as I was kind of mentioning earlier, and I'm talking to you, audience. Uh, ooh, they can fuck you too, and I'll show you how they fuck you. Oh, so that might not be a relic. Yeah. I'll show you, and I'll, and I'll tell you why they did it. It makes sense. Um, but uh, it's just the resources online, it's kind of, the, there's, it's not super helpful, and I had to do a lot of, like, detective work to figure out how to get back into this. Because they're just, people aren't super assistive in it, so I want to be that for anybody that's interested. I want people to be able to find, face, break shit. <laughs> And or our podcast, which has no, is not about baseball cards or collectibles. Well, it kind really. of is. kind of is. It's more just about <laughs> um, that. 
us telling stories and fucking with each other. So it's is a, the Marcus Smart card the main card you're going for from this this it's, box? Yeah, today? I mean, I'll be happy with a bunch of really valuable rookie cards of Nikola Jokic or Joel Embiid or whoever else uh, uh, was in that year. I know there's a few more, but uh, the ultimate win for me will be if I get a Marcus Smart rookie. And I have this rookie card. I have a lot of them, actually. So I won't even probably be something I need. It'll just be, uh, it'll just feel really cool to pull his rookie card for the only time I've ever done it, you know? And mm -hmm. to do it on camera. So I'll be able to go back when I'm old and senile and watch the video <laughs> no and go, who's the weird kid next to me? Oh, this kid? That won't remember you. <laughs> okay, I'll, be you I'll, I'll be senile. <laughs> and the weird Canadian coming out of the TV. Yeah. Another fat pack. Okay. Quite the stack of cards. It is quite the packs. In the After box. we get through this. Oh, that's a great question. Somebody asked about Gus's cards. If you don't know what that is, we found out recently uh, that Gus bought 50,000 packs, 50,000 baseball cards in uh, like 93 at a Walmart. He, they were going to throw them away. And so he gave them like $100 and he bought like boxes and boxes of this shit. Tops. Uh, Fleer, base, all, all these old 90s baseball cards. And he, they've been sitting in a storage shed since 1993 or whatever. And he's trying uh, to get rid of them. Yeah, and he was been trying to get rid of them for years. I didn't know about them. I just recently found out. He, he called his mom. They're still there. So we're going to go down and, because it's about four hours away, drive down and pick them up and bring them back. And then if we keep doing the show, we'll make that a segment, right? Like going through and looking for Don Zimmers and Pedro Martinez's and whatever else in Gus's 50,000 baseball cards. It's ridiculous. All right. Wish me luck, audience. Wish me luck, Gavin and, and Andrew. Uh, fingers crossed. Gavin, I'm, or Andrew, I'm sorry we didn't get Roshnabinov Rashna, <laughs> or Nikushtikov. It's not hard. Do it again, but, Andrew. What is it? Ilya Brizgalov. Have you remembered it? I, Il, Ilya Sova Bogdanovich. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, <laughs> I apologize, man. I tried. Maybe we'll get you something good out of another hockey box soon. But uh, let's go through this. Ryan Anderson. I don't think he still plays basketball. Goran Dragic has a brother who used to play. Tyler Ennis. Here we go. This is a fuck you. Kobe Bryant. Lights, camera, action. Hoops card. Andrew, would you do me a favor and look up Kobe Bryant number 35? Hoops 2014, 2015. That might be worth something because Kobe cards are hot since. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, Aaron Afalo, Carl Landry, Jason Richardson, remember him, Alec Burks, Shane Larkin. This is a trip down memory lane. Nick Young, this guy gave himself a nickname, called himself Swaggy P. Then he also had a whole lot of tattoos on his left arm, I believe, or I think it's his left arm. Wouldn't get any tattoos on his right arm because he wanted to, that's a shooting arm. He didn't want to sully oh. his right, he wanted to keep it pure. We don't want to make it heavier. Yeah. He uh, also, interesting thing about this dude, while we're on it, uh, he was dating, and I think even maybe briefly engaged to Iggy Azalea. Okay. However, another player on the uh, Los Angeles Lakers at the same time, a young rookie named D'Angelo Russell, filmed a video of Nick Young talking about cheating on Iggy Azalea, and then he released it on social media. And Iggy Azalea found out, because it was on social media, she broke up with Nick Young. They traded D'Angelo Russell and got him off the team. He ended up going to the New York uh, Nets. I think now, then he went to, had, a, had one all-star year. Then he, he's bounced around to a couple teams since. But uh, completely and kind of fucked his career up by ratting out a teammate. Which also, I mean, the dude was cheating on his girlfriend and bragging about it, so I get it. But uh, yeah, he, uh, it was a whole kerfuffle. Damn, that is you a know, kerfuffle. Big kerfuffle. <laughs> Bismack Biombo. Anthony Bennett, what the fuck is it? Okay, Anthony Bennett autograph, great significance. You don't seem too <sighs> and, uh, excited about that's Bennett. Could have, well, yeah. <laughs> that Kobe Bryant card is worth like fifteen bucks. Nice, I'll take fifteen bucks. Goran Dragic fast lane. Yeah, here we go. They'll do this. To is fuck that just with a you. psych out? It's a psych out. Oh. Now here's why they do a psych out. You can feel it. It's like it's the same size as a relic. 
It's to stop assholes from break from going into Targets and Walmarts, feeling all the packages, pulling out the fat ones, and then buying them. <laughs> so uh, I understand why they do it, yeah. but it is a it's a fucking it is a huge cock block when you get yeah when you get one of these and you're like. Ugh. Wasted opportunity. I wonder what the carbon footprint is of all of these combined, like the weight of it. It's a great question. Uh, Paul Millsap, Andre Drummond, we're running out of time. I had to go through this fast. Chris Paul, Dwayne Wade, Matt Barnes, Jeremy Lin, DeMar DeRozan, uh, Jason Terry, Joseph Nurkic. He is actually, a, that's a really good card too. Uh, that's his rookie. Face of the future, Julius Randle. Boy, he is having an insane year with the New York Knicks. Finally an all star. That's also a really good rookie card to have. Uh, that's probably worth some money, too. Uh, Tiago Splitter, Clay Thompson, Jeremy Evans, Alex, whatever. Uh, Bro Robin Lopez, and he looks like Sideshow Bob in real life. Uh, David West, Otto Porter, Jarrett Jack. What do we have here? Uh, oh, Clay Anthony Early. Uh, ooh, what is this? Thomas Robinson. Uh, this is a checkerboard parallel refractor. That's a pretty card. Not worth anything. J.J. Hickson, Jeff Teague, Kevin Love. He just had to apologize because he threw a tantrum. Oh. Yeah, threw a little tantrum, threw a basketball, and then he had to apologize and say, that's not who I am. Should Lance Stevenson. Throwing basketballs. <laughs> yeah, he was just mad. Trevor Ariza, Steve Blake, and John Wall. Still got to get through these bad boys. Fingers crossed that we will get uh, our Marcus Smart or a bunch of other more valuable cards. Spencer Dinwiddie, rookie. That's a good one. Uh, Tim Duncan, San Antonio Spurs. They call him the Big Fundamental, was his nickname. Jonas Valanciunas. Uh, Kyrie Irving. Fuck him. <laughs> Maurice Harkless. Ty Lawson. Kyle Lowry. Every time I hear Kyle Lowry, I think Mike Lowry. Mike Lowry? Mike Lowry. Uh, Ricky Rubio. Ricky Rubio looks like a werewolf. Tobias Harris. Isaiah <laughs> Thomas. Ugh. On the other videos of people doing this, do they give their little opinions on the players? No, that's why they're boring. Uh, <laughs> Jarnell Stokes. Uh, I have opinions, and I want to share them. Kevin Durant, Lights, Camera, Thunder. This is back before he sold his soul to the, for a ring. Uh, Miles Plumley, Tyler Hainsborough, not even in the league anymore. Piero Antic, not in the league. Andre uh, Bargnani. He was, I think, the first. I think he was number one draft pick his year. Uh... And an interesting career. Raymond Felton, James Anderson, Serge Ibaka, Jeff Green, Jeremy Grant. Ooh, Mike Miller. This one's numbered number 52 of 349. Mike Miller's a cool dude. I don't think he's playing basketball anymore. He was playing for the Cavs when they won, uh, even though it shows him in a Memphis outfit, he was a Cav. Won two titles with them, I believe, when LeBron uh, was there. Cool thing about this dude. He was playing a game in the NBA Finals against San Antonio Spurs. Shoe fell off. <laughs> running, running across court. Kicked it, grabbed the ball, one-footed, shot a, th a major three-pointer. Turned the tide of the game one, with one shoe on. Do you legally cool need moment. to be wearing both shoes to play basketball? I, I, I don't know. Another one of those. I don't think there's a shoe rule. Paul Pierce. What was that clip of truth. that guy's foot like exploding through his own shoe? Was that basketball? That was Zion Williamson. Mm. Yeah. That, that, was, was, like, that was awesome. That was a big damn deal. He just deal. came through the front of it. Kevin Martin, Zach Randolph. He's called this guy Zebo. I don't know if you remember, but we did a <laughs> we did a, a let's play in the um, the werewolf. The, the not the werewolf. The Yeti Bigfoot thing? game, the yeah. Yeti game, and I named my character Zebo. I <laughs> yeah. named it after Zach Randolph, and it wasn't a compliment. I don't like Zach Randolph. Uh, I'm gonna give you the uh, two minute warning. All right, two, two minute warning. Karan Butler. Minute. That means we're gonna we're gonna burn through this, guys. Okay. Uh, so I will try to be less entertaining and, and faster. Steve Nash, uh, coach of the Nets now. Uh, Omri Caspi, Cantavius Caldwell Pope, uh, Eric Bledsoe, Mark Brown, Andrew Wiggins, rookie. He's having a bit of a revitalization uh, in his career. Enos Cantor, Kyle Korver, Nick Collison, Wesley Matthews, uh, Mario Chalmers. I wish I had more time to talk about these people because I have stories about all of them. Ily Ersan Ilyasova looks like a James Bond villain. Check him out. Uh, ben McElmore, he is oh, he having a bit of a resurgence, too. He, is, he was almost out of, the, out of the league. Rajon Rondo, my favorite player of all time, or one of Cameron Bear, Bearstow, rookie. It's worth nothing. Chris Paul. Kobe Bryant. I'll take that. Uh, Brandon Jennings. Brandon Knight. Chris Kamen. Uh, Paul George. I'm reading these upside down. Jody Meeks. Uh, Rudy Gay. Avery Bradley has not had much of a career since the Celtics. He was really great there. Alfred Payton, rookie. Uh, LeBron James, end-to-end -end hoop card. Uh, MCW, that was, he was a rookie of the year one year. 
uh, Timofey Mozgov, Damian Lillard, Kelly Olynyk. They call this guy, he's Canadian, seven feet tall, plays for the Houston Rockets right now. He's having a great year. Uh, used to play for the Celtics. I know I'm running out of time, but they call this guy Maple Dick. <laughs> Yeah, that's his nickname, Maple Dick. So we'll put that over there. Mo Williams, Draymond Green, Nene, Vince Carter, Nick Johnson, uh, TJ Warren. And a bullshit. Numbered. Uh, these things. All right, we're going to blast through because I'm running out of time. J.R. Smith, I'm not even going to call the names out. LeBron James, I'm only going to pull the hits. We're, we're going to find this. We're going to we got to start a Maple Dick collection. We, got, we definitely can start a Maple Dick collection. I'm just going to throw out anything that's worth anything, and as soon as I find... Ooh. As soon as Maple I... Dick is a lawyer firm. <laughs> <laughs> the law firm. As soon as I find my Marcus Smart, we'll, we'll end it. Uh, okay. Uh, Gordon Hayward. Sorry. Oh, Marcus Smart, Ricky. Boom. There we go. Oh, right there. Shit. That's it. That's what I was looking for. I just pulled. Yeah! <laughs> Great job on that. Great. Oh, we got a Shaq card. I didn't know Shaq was still playing in 2014. Andre Iguodala. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to say that that was a huge success. Joel Embiid, rookie. Shit going. on me. That's nice. That's a lot of money. Uh, Wilson Chandler. We will say that this was a huge success. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us break cards. I hope you enjoyed this live stream and you liked it enough to want to watch it again because I desperately want to make it again. I would like to do this weekly someday if possible. Yeah, are we going to do this again? Are you like, are you feeling like you got enough collection that if this is something you wanted to do again, we could put it together pretty quick? Yeah, I mean, we didn't get through about half of the stuff and this isn't everything. I have more stuff at home uh, and I'm always on the lookout. Like I spend most of my weekends, about two weekends a month, I will drive around to central Texas towns and go to uh, yard sales and... Uh, like antique balls and shit to try to find this old rare. I'm in a pickle. What do you want? That wasn't me. Don't. I... <laughs> that wasn't me. No. <laughs> Let's call it here. Thank you for tuning in to what? Face Break <laughs> Stuff. Uh, if you enjoyed it and you want us to do this again, let us know on social media. Uh, tweet Rooster Teeth. Tweet Eric. Tweet uh, Jordan and Lewis. Uh, Instagram, whatever. Make, uh, make your voice heard so that we know that this is something that you're interested in. If you don't, I'll assume nobody wants this, and we won't do it again. <laughs> However, I would really like to do it again. And uh, oh, it was so calming. What's that? It was very calming. It is cool, calming. Man. It's yeah. fun. It's, it's kind of like ASMR for cool guys, right? And uh, while you're at it, why don't I tell you to buy some stuff? If you're so interested in supporting, uh, if you had a good time, you're interested in supporting. Uh... I broke this one. I got you. These are templates. This is coming out in the store. Shut the up. An official face uh, bleep, so you can say the name of the shirt. Got a Russian fuck shirt, a Russian fuck hat shirt. <laughs> if you're interested in that, got a Russian fuck hat hat. You can buy those. We got it. We made our own color. It's called Gerpel. We got one of those in the store. We got regular we got Zimmer face Zimmer. shirts. We got Zimmer Zone shirts. And uh, one last thing, public service announcement. If you guys could help me out here, uh, I would really appreciate it. Trying to raise awareness for an issue. I didn't want to make the whole show about it, so I, I covered it up. But uh, this is something I think that's important to all of us. If you or anyone you know <laughs> has any information on this man, the Vancouver child kicker, if you know his whereabouts, if you are one of his victims, if you know of someone that he may have harmed or uh, attacked, if you have any information as to his whereabouts or his activities, there is a number you can call on this shirt. We are trying to bring him to justice. The families deserve can, justice. Can we get a zoom on his face just so we can really, this is, what, this is who you're looking for. I gotta go. <laughs> I, I gotta go. You can just, you just zoom out on that. Just close out on that. And that's the show right there. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye.